Next meeting of the club will be um, September 26th, I believe. Is that right? The last date, the last, uh, the fourth Wednesday of September. And guess who the featured speaker is going to be? You. No. <laughs> no, actually, Sam. Every couple of years, Sam gets to decide to speak at his own club. So Sam will be the speaker. Can't wait to introduce him that night. Um, pull these flyers out, if you would. This flyer with my uh, picture of me, my bar mitzvah suit. My next seminar, for those guys who want to attend, is uh, this coming Monday night, August 27th, 6 day o'clock. It's at Manhattan Beach City Hall. Figure we might as well stay close to the beach this time of year, right? So for those who like to attend, you can let me know afterwards, or you can RSVP at the website or the phone number. Uh, let's see, real quick. How many? Let's see, well, we have two prizes to give away. Let me give these away tonight. Uh, sure. Okay, uh, actually, um, yeah, go ahead. How many single family residences are there in in California? I'll take guesses. Eight million. Oh my god, you're actually wrong. But you're so close. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna give this anyway because nobody else is, is trying to bid on. Uh, 8.7 million single family wow. residences in California. Now, a haunting number that I've been doing research on is how many properties have been lost in foreclosure in the past five years in the real estate debacle we've been through. How many of actually homes have been lost in foreclosure? In California. Any ideas on that one? No? Can I give any of these away? Sam, can I give any of these away? Uh, you can, yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to do it like the way you're just doing it, like somebody will answer the question? Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Over the last five years? Over the last five years, how many homes in the current real estate? So they market the, the boom, the bubble busted in the uh, very end of 2006. So since 2007 to today, how many properties have actually been lost in foreclosure? Are you going to do No? 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 No, a number. No. What? No, what do you come at? Number? Do you have a formula? No. Six hundred grams. Anybody? I may have to keep this for myself since I know the number. Write this down because it's actually a dramatic number. Uh, Nine hundred thousand homes that have been lost in foreclosure in California. It's a staggering number. It's like one out of eight every eight homes have been lost in foreclosure. That's not just going through the foreclosure process. That's actually lost. That means a lender taking it or a, um, a real estate investor. By the way, right now, at all the trustee sales, 41% of the homes that actually go to sale are being bought by investors. So you guys have a lot of opportunities in which to buy. So I'm going to take this book and go home and read it. It's <laughs> Right? The Wealthy Code. Okay, let me introduce our favorite all-star. He said, don't give him a long introduction because he starts to blush. So I'm going to keep it really short. Mr. Sam Sadat. Thank you, Sam. How are you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Wow, great crowd. I know that it's pretty light tonight, but who's here is who we care about. And the ones that are not here, they're actually losing something because we're going to have a great program for you. Okay? So welcome, all of you. How many of you are here, how many of you are here for the first time? Very first time. Okay, awesome. Uh, let me see. Uh, better now? Can you? Better? Is it okay? Did it make a difference? It did? Alright, great. Okay, so um, good to have all of you, good to have you all. Um, I'm going to go over several things, but before I start, I would like to do a couple of things uh, as sort of like an introduction. For many of you that don't know me, frankly, sometimes I don't know myself either, you know, and uh, so that's okay, especially when I get up in the morning before I have my cup of coffee. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and says, oh, who is this old guy renting my face in the mirror? I don't recognize myself like that. You know, um, I always think that I'm like, maybe, you know, 15 years old. Uh, and that's, that's a good thing, by the way, folks. You know, one of the things you can do to stay young is to feel young, to see young. And when you look at the world, you know, I often say, when you look at the world today, and if you don't like the way world, the world is, uh, it, 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 and, and when you were when you were young, you loved everything about the world. What has changed? Who has changed? Has the world changed, or have you changed? 
Have your eyes changed now as you got older, or actually the world has changed and gotten a lot worse? Because even for the little kids right now, if they look at, if they look at the outside, they still see beauty. They still see a little rose when they get the rose. They, see it, they still appreciate the rose. But what do we do with all this stuff that is pushing us down, with all this stress that we've got in our, in our lives? We look at it and we don't really recognize it. We say, hey, there's something wrong. Folks, there has always been something wrong with the world. Okay? You guys are familiar with the, um, with the song uh, by Billy Joel. It says, uh, we didn't start the fire. It's always been here. It's always been here. Okay, this insanity is not unique. And I'm going to tell you something very interesting. I was actually reading a, uh, a, uh, a sort of like an article going back to about 90 years ago. And when I read it, if I did not see the date, I would have thought that he's talking about today. All the insanity that's going on, the world's coming to the end, all the crime, all this, you know, robberies. And I said, this is today. Nothing has ever changed, okay, with humanity. What do you expect? We're a bunch of crazy people running around, you know, from all over the world, you know, and, and we've got a problem. So this is the way things are. Accept it. Embrace it. Move on, okay? That's really the way that you've got to look at your life. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck wherever you are. If you get stuck on pleasure, it's not good. If you get stuck on pain, it's not good either. Where do you want to be? Right in the middle of the road. Keep your balance. That's what's important. But before I go on, I want to tell you about quite a few things. I want to introduce two people to you that are really, really awesome for you guys to know. One of them is uh, uh, Janet from Retran. I don't know how many of you guys are, have used Retran or are using Retran. Some of you are. Okay, Janet, would you stand up and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Janet Process from Retran. She's the manager of Retran. Could you tell us a little bit about what Retran does, number sure. one, and give us a little bit of foreclosure report of what's happening in the market. Have you seen a decline? Is it steady? What do you see next year as the trend goes on? Go ahead. Sure. Uh, my name's Janet, and I'm here on behalf of uh, Retran. We provide uh, the foreclosure information, of course. We have notice of defaults, trust sales, and REOs. Uh, a lot of our data, of course, we, the, the data that we compile comes from the county reporter's office, which makes it very fresh. We're only two days behind. Um, all other foreclosure companies are either three days, four days behind our reporting dates, which makes us you know, the fastest foreclosure standard of service in California. Now, as far as our trends uh, with foreclosures, you know, it's always stable as far as the numbers are coming in. How many? I think we had about, um, I think just this, I would say that we're getting daily about 2,200 mm -hmm. 2, foreclosures a day. Okay. Yes. When you say foreclosures, let's be clear. Are we sure. talking about the notice of default or notice of trust? I'm talking about foreclosures. Foreclosures, notice of default, default, trust sales, and of course. Every day. Right. Every, Every day. day. Now, Riverside and Orange County are the, the actual the ones that we're keeping track of because those are exploding. Riverside, um, all the seven counties, Riverside, San Bernardino. Diego, all of those counties, were, I'm not sure what the reason is, but it's exploding. LA County was exploding about two years ago, but those seven counties are, it's just extensive what's coming in. Normally, Los Angeles uh, defaults would be about 350 daily. Well, that's dropped into about maybe an average of maybe 150 or so a day. Mm -hmm. But San Bernardino, Riverside, all of those counties are jumping to 400 a day sometimes 250, but we normally used to see numbers as 75, 120 defaults a day, but that's really jumping about maybe about crazy. 12 percent. It's really yeah. crazy. Okay. So you say um, we see the trend continuing? The trend is continuing yeah. with seven counties. Yes. Um, but Los Angeles County is very steady right now. It's just a normal of about 250 a day. 250 a day, and this is just single family just homes? Just defaults. I'm talking about defaults, default. 250 a day. Okay, are um, these just single family homes or one to four units? This is a little bit of everything. Commercials, uh, every single family homes. Uh, every All right, day. what do you guys do? How can they benefit from this? Sure, yeah. of course. If you guys are realtors, you guys can get the actual uh, listings for short sales. We do provide LTVs for you. We provide, um, if you want to work with certain banks, you guys can definitely uh, set up Wells Fargo and just work with Wells Fargo bank foreclosures. If you are uh, looking into calling the investor, oh, I'm sorry, if you're looking into calling the homeowners, we have up to three telephone numbers for you. We do not link you to no other website like a lot of foreclosure websites do. We give you the actual telephone numbers right then and there. 
Open loan information is always available. You have mechanics liens, you have uh, judgment liens, uh, property taxes are delinquent. It's just the necessary tools for you so you don't have to get linked anywhere. Everything is already built in there for you. Now, for trust sales and investors, this is the place for you guys. We have all the sales that are going to go to auction for tomorrow. And we don't limit that. It's unlimited. We have a lot of foreclosure companies out there that limit to you for 500 a day. And, and, and you don't do that. It's, just, it's unlimited. If you want to see all the sales for tomorrow, you might have 2,000. And you'll be able to see 2,000. In other foreclosure companies, you can't see all the sales for tomorrow. You're only limited to 500. And that's, that's not really good when you're trying to figure out what's, you know, what, what minimum bids are dropping. Now, another way, if you're a realtor and you wanted to find out who the investor was who bought property at an auction, Lloyd and Sam just bought property at an auction. Yeah. Now, guess yeah. what? You guys want to know who those investors are, right? You guys want to know who, who are these guys. And in our system, you'll be able to get that extra information to try to get to Lloyd and, and Sam. You get to see where they live, their address, and of course their name. But in other foreclosure companies, you'll never know that. Because when they buy data, we don't buy data, they buy data, even for companies like us, you won't get that extra information. Our system is the most up to date and you will have it complete. And that's what makes us the very best service out there for programs. That's great. As one lucky person, you're going to give out a, a, a month free uh, you know, for your services, right? right? Okay, where is our goal? Let's, let's pull the card out. Does everyone get a chance for the business card? You get a chance? Everybody got the business card in? Okay, because I've got a couple more freebies that I'm going to give out. Anybody have any questions on uh, about our service? And we did quite well. What did the cost set? Uh, well, it's normally $159, and so that's why it's, it's expensive. And you're basically paying what you, you know what you, what you buy. If you're going to sign up to, we have a quick rare county records research, you can get everything for $50, for $49, but it's not the same quality. You're going to get what you're paying for. So it's $159, but if you call our customer service line, there's promotions every week. So you might get the service for $79. I think it's $79 right now for the first month. Uh, if you call our customer service reps tomorrow, you might be able to sign up for $79. But I think it ends on Friday. Okay, yes. okay. What is Sam's home address? <laughs> <laughs>
the cow is here. Okay, let's see, who would that be? It's going to be Laurent. Hey, congratulations. Do you have that already? I already have it. Okay. <laughs> I will give somebody else, but I'll give you something else. Okay, thank you, Laurent. All right, so let's let's do another one. Uh, do it again. Sandra is going to be your turn. Let's see who that would be. Yeah, she's really rubbing it now. Okay, so let's see who would that be. Uh, Amit Pana. Hey, congratulations. Amit, do you have this? No, All right, well, give him hands. Amit Pana. I want to give this one up. This is the manual of the same thing in writing as opposed to the uh, you know, video. So let's have Lane pull one up for us. <laughs> That's cheating. You can do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who would that be? I guess everybody knows that. Uh, John Bowman. Hey, John. Okay. Good to have you. For, for your, uh, this is for you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So All right, so I'm done with that. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what is happening in the market and what we've done so far. A couple of things, quickly. Uh, how many of you were here last month? Okay. Uh, remember I talked to you folks about a particular uh, property, like an eight unit in Los Angeles? How many of you guys remember that? I'm sure you remember that. Yeah. And the eight units in LA uh, is just an example of some of the properties that we're doing right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to share with you how incredible this opportunity is. Let me find it. Let me find the unit first. Where the heck is that? There it is. Okay, this next one up there. Okay, come on, come on. Show me where is it? There it is. Okay, I got it. Do you remember this property that I showed you last month? <coughs> Sorry, a unit apartment building in Los Angeles, 446 259th Street. I bought it for seven hundred thousand dollars. Put it on the contract, and I provided an opportunity for many of you folks to get involved with. And you got involved with, I think you put in $50,000. I myself put in $42,000 into this property, and we had, we raised $370,000, okay? And that amount was enough to give us, I'll show you the details of that. Purchase price for $700,000, uh, it was not in a rent controlled area. You might say, Sam, this is LA. How could it be not rent control? Well, I got news for you. There are parts of Los Angeles that are actually unincorporated. And they're not in the city of LA, they are rather in the county of LA. And when you're in the county of LA, you're not subject to rent control. So this particular property, every unit in the property is under, uh, underperforming on the rent. In other words, the rent on this property, the, uh, the, the, rent, the, the monthly rent, are only $700 to $800, as opposed to $1,200 to $1,300, which is exactly what we plan to do. We're going to raise the rents to the market level. We're going to fix all the units to make sure that they're in superior condition so that when we get the top rent, they're actually at the top of the market. And this figure of $700 in about six months is going to be $1,050,000 based on the new income. Why is that? Because for those of you who do not know about rental properties, income producing properties, I'm talking about five units and up, not one to four. Because one to four is considered what? Residential, right? Five and up is considered what? Commercial. So when we're talking about commercial properties, five and up, the value of the property is determined by what? Is it determined by comps or is it determined by income? Income. By income. Because income approach is the approach to determine value on income producing properties five and up. So according to the rent roll that you got, this property is going to be worth over a million dollars in six months. So several of you participated. We raised it. The total amount of $370,000 is going to close next week. Let me give you some of the details of that. Rents are 16% below market. And 10% uh, cash on cash determined 90% of the market rent, not even 100%. It had very little deferred maintenance. Two of them are two to one, two, one, uh, two bedroom, one bath. Six of them are one and one. Great location with city views. Would you believe that? It's right at the top of the hill. So several units in this building actually have the views of the LA Basin. Okay? So, and then uh, capital required was 370. All of it was raised, believe it or not, in five days. I mean, I uh, told Dr. Baker that, you know, uh, we are in, he just jumped out. Okay? So that's over and done with. But I also wanted to share with you something else. Uh, 
We also are buying, as Janet indicated, we're also buying smaller duplexes, triplexes and fourplexes in Los Angeles. Everything we do is in Los Angeles. Okay, so we bought this little tiny place. Of course, this rent in this paint already gone. I don't have the new picture. We're supposed to get the new picture, right? right. We spent roughly about $12,000 in a duplex. This is the front, there is also one in the back, okay? We spent $12,000 fixed up in this property, uh, which we bought for $192,000 at a trustee sale. Do you folks know what a trustee sale is? When a property goes into foreclosure, okay? And ultimately, when the, when the period of 90 days, three months plus 21 days, when that period is over, they sell the, pro the property at the trustee sale. You have the opportunity to buy, everybody does. So we knew the property, we had looked at it already, we drove by it, we have a system. So we bought, we picked up the property uh, at the trustee auction for the 192,000. We put the rehab, closing cost, the entire thing at $20,000. This property right now, ARV means after repair value. So uh, this is the before repair value, this is after repair value. So this value right now is what we can sell the property for. But are we selling these properties for? No. Why are we buying these properties? What's the purpose? To buy and hold, okay? Yes, we will, we will go ahead and 1031 exchange them. You folks know what a 1031 exchange is? What is a 1031 exchange? Can anybody tell me? Then they want exchange? Yes, sir. When you sell and buy something of equal Very good. greater value. Very good. When you sell and buy something of equal or greater value, the IRS will allow you to defer your taxes and be able to buy a better property. So if we ever sell this property, it's going to be on a 1031 exchange. So all the folks that have made money in it, they're going to go into the next one. The folks that have invested in this, how many of you invested in that? Blanca, you invested in that? Okay. And uh, Elaine and Sandra, they're not here. Okay, they live in Orange County. So three investors came in, invested in this property. Right now we have this value. We're thinking about 1031 exchanging it. We may not. But anyways, $50,000 in equity. Monthly rent rehab, 2450 Didn't we just put the new tenant in front? Yes, we did. Yes. The front unit, the three bedroom, two bath, folks, we rented it for $1,650. Of course, it's a beautiful unit, you completely rehab it, but the rentals are crazy in LA right now. Why do you think the rents are so high? This is like in East LA. Why do you think the rents are so high? Foreclosures, they have lost their homes. Their credit is bad, people, right? And they don't have, they can't qualify to buy a home. So what do they do? They rent. Many of these folks are actually, they actually own homes. But where do they own homes? They're probably Riverside, San Bernardino, Palmdale, Lancaster, but where do they work? Right here in LA. So instead of commuting and paying $4.50 for gas, what do they do? They'd rather just come in and rent the place, okay? So the rents are crazy, $24.50. We have a rental ratio of 1.2%. Folks, do you know what the rental ratio is? Because yeah. I want to tell you a little bit about the rental ratio, okay? There is a thing we call the 1% rule. The 1% rule states that if you want to have a decent cash flow property, we're talking about one to four units only. We're not talking about five and up. If you want to have a decent cash flow property, your monthly rent should be at least 1% of your acquisition, which is purchase price, okay? Your monthly rent should be at least 1% of the purchase price plus your repair costs, okay? So we bought this property for 192. We put in $20,000 into it. What does that make it? 212, right? How much are we collecting on rent? 2450. So if you divide the two together, what are you going to get? 1.2%. So anytime you're better than 1%, you're essentially having a very nice cash flow property. Anytime you're below 1%, you're in trouble. And I'll give you an example. Same property right here, this one, 3721 Maple Avenue. This property at the peak of the market sold for $535,000. So do you, is it a wonder that people lost this property? They bought this property for $535,000 and they did not even collect this. Why? Because at that time the rental market wasn't that strong. So they probably collected $2,000 on a property that they paid $530,000 for. So would you lose a property like that? Is that a good investment opportunity? Not at all. Okay. How about if you just into it with 
212,000 and you're collecting 2,450. Are you going to ever lose this property? You're never going to lose this property. This is what we call a great cash flow property. Okay? So, the rental ratio, net cash flow on this property is going to be about five to six hundred dollars. So, for example, Blanco has got 30% of this property. If you get five hundred dollars positive cash flow on this one, he gets one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Thirty percent of it is his parents' cars. You got twenty percent in this property, you're gonna get one hundred dollars per month. So the twenty thousand dollars that Hamid had over a year, how much were you getting at the bank, Hamid? Zero or one percent? Actually under my bed. That's it. That's it. I'm crazy. What is to say? Actually, how many of you are gonna save that? <laughs> it's faster access to it, you know. But uh, you know, let's say most banks, what do they, what do they pay you right now? Zero to one percent, nothing. Okay. Not only did he get, not only is he getting hundred dollars a month right now, okay, on this twenty thousand dollars, which is twelve percent a year, okay. But also he is now fifty percent or twenty percent of this equity, which is ten thousand dollars, belongs to him. Okay. And uh, let me tell you the best part of it. For those of you who believe that real estate is still not good right now, let me give you the best part. This property right now, 265, I talked to my insurance agent. He says the replacement value of this property right now is 285,000. How many of you think realistically, realistically, within about three years, this property is going to be worth about 310,000? You know that it will. You know that it will. And you're not even talking about 350, you're not talking about 400, let alone 450 or 500. We're just talking about 300 to 330,000. So when it reaches that $330,000 range, and we are only at $220,000 range, it's $100,000 increase in equity in a very short period of time. So this is what we're advocating. This is what we're suggesting you guys should do. So the question is, do you have all the money to do it yourself? If you do, Okay, well if you do, congratulations. We'll hook you up with the people we know. You go ahead and do your own deals. Not a problem. But remember, you gotta do a lot of stuff. You gotta drive by the property. You gotta make sure you make the right bid. You gotta make sure you evaluate the property properly. Okay, and ultimately you gotta make sure you do rehab in property. Deal with the tenants, get a good rent, and then manage the property. We do all of that for you. All of that. All you gotta do is you come in with a percentage of your money. I know James, you're waiting to go into the next one. Right? James McLaughlin is already putting his money for the next one. Okay? So is a few other people. We've got a few others coming up. My suggestion is if you don't have all the money, talk to these folks. Go take a look at the property we just did. Go take a look at the eight units. See the quality of the work that we do. Come in and participate. Every property is purchased in an LLC. In other words, LLC owns the property. Okay, why do we do that? Number one, because we limit your liability as owners of this property. Every person within the LLC has a defined percentage. Okay, for example, Blanca in the LLC is owner of 30% owner of this property. You're 20% owner of this property in the LLC, and the LLC owns the property. So therefore, all of your investment is completely secure, and it's backed by trustee for securing this property. And I know Leslie is thinking about but, you know, participating in this, which is great. So what I'm just trying to tell you is take advantage of this opportunity, okay? This is an incredible opportunity. So with that, I want to just tell you one other thing. Next month, uh, on September 20, is it 26? Yeah, man, September 26. September 26, I am going to be talking about one incredible program, which we have right now. You have that flyer for the next month, the yellow one? Okay. I will go ahead and for in an hour and a half, I will teach you all the nuts and bolts of what it takes for you to be able to own 20 properties in two years, collect 20 rental checks in two years. This is the manual. This is the one that I've done. It's 60 pages of the manual. It's available online. Okay, you can actually go ahead and buy this program and did you, didn't you get this? I downloaded it. Downloaded it? Have you studied it? I've started it. Okay, James, have you, have, have you, what did you think about this program? Very good. Okay, that convinced you that you need to come in and invest. Yes, okay, so I really encourage you folks to go and see Amanda tonight and get this program. This is a 22 program, which I will talk about next month in detail. 
This is the knowledge of what it takes for you to own 20 units in two years. Okay, this is the knowledge. If you want to participate after you gain the knowledge, like James did, what do you do? You come in, put up, we don't expect you to put up a lot of money. I don't expect you to go, go and pull all the money from your savings account and say, here, just come in with a little bit of money. That's what I told James. That's what I told Leslie and Hani and everybody else. I said, come in with twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Let us show you what ownership is, you learn the process, and you go from there. Okay? So this is the knowledge of what it takes to do it. Tonight, I have a special program for you. If you pull the white flyer over here with your yellow flyer, okay, I encourage you to read this one. Because this particular flyer is giving you a special offer for tonight only. What it does is, it's going to give you the 22 program, this one, which is not only the manual, but I've got 15 videos online for you to look at, watch, at the comfort of your home, okay? So you get the videos, you get this, but it's combined with my basic mentoring program. What is the basic mentoring program? The basic mentoring program is the one in which I teach you how to evaluate any property, anywhere, anytime in America, accurately. Okay, that basic mentoring program is going to make you an expert in valuation of properties, it makes you an expert in making the right offer on properties, and essentially help you to make the right purchase. So this is the combo that I'm offering. Uh, Leslie, did you get the combo? I did. Okay, so you know that Saturday we have a special training? Yes. For all of you got that. Okay, so for any of you folks that join tonight, you're going to join me on Saturday for a special training for two hours. It's online, and everybody's going to be on the phone at a conference, and I will teach you step by step through the basic mentoring program what it takes for you guys to be experts in real estate so nobody else can pull a fast one on you. I'll show you how to analyze and appraise properties. I don't care if it's Boise, Idaho, Austin, Texas, or Los Angeles, California. There's a system. I sent you an invitation to me, I believe. Okay? So any of you that do that, you're going to be able to essentially get into the program. The beauty of it is, if you wanted to get them separately, this is going to be about a thousand dollars. But tonight, what is that? Five ninety nine for five hundred and ninety nine dollars. You get both programs combined together: the basic mentoring program as well as the twenty two program. One other feature of the basic mentoring program: you will be a, you will be able to come to club meetings for one year. You don't have to stand in line and pay. This tonight was light. Usually we have a line. And it's going to happen again next month when everybody comes back to town. Okay? So when you pay for the basic mentoring program, you will have one year free membership to the club. Okay? Why is that good? Because anytime you come in, you just walk in. And if you miss it, guess what? Robbie Diggs, right now, or my webmaster, who's going to share some stuff with you right now, my webmaster is recording every meeting. So if you happen to miss a meeting, guess what? It's going to be on our website, archived. You can go ahead and watch it later at the comfort of your home. Isn't that great? Yeah. You will never have to miss a meeting again. You don't have to deal with the traffic again. You will be using you will be using a username and a password just for you folks. And let me tell you something. You've got to stay connected to the source if you want to succeed. The reason people join associations is because they need some place for support. And this is no different. You need real estate support for your success. And we're here to help you out. All right? Everybody with me on that? OK? So I encourage you to do that. You can see Amanda. Amanda, uh, raise your hand. Amanda Bennett, club director, right there. She will help you with all of that. And she'll get you signed up. All right? That's on that. I'm not going to say anything about that uh, at all. But what I wanted to say is I want to introduce you to Robbie Diggs. Robbie is my webmaster. He's done an incredible job on our website. He's helped me tremendously with ranking our club. Right now at the top almost, we're at one or two regularly, and we were nowhere to be found. Okay, because you know how that is, how difficult that is. And he's got great ideas, and he's right now I'm going to share with you some incredible news uh, that we have from Google. Is that what you said, Robbie? Yeah. Okay. So help me welcome Robbie Diggs and I'm going to share something. Like this. Yeah, as Sam said, and uh, you know, I'll make it brief because I know you guys came here to see uh, Chris, but uh, just recently, some of you probably don't know about it yet. You'll hear a little more about it. Anybody heard of the Google Penguin? 
No one can do it. Yeah, well, he's not nice. Um, if any of you are involved in, in a website or depend on a website or work for a business who depends on a website, uh, about 75% of the websites out there online right now lost their rank drastically, like off the front page. Uh, that was basically due to a new algorithm that Google did, basically kind of weeding out all of the, the low kind of quality websites with, with those so-called SEO experts, uh, putting all this extra meta information to try to boost your rank. So it's really tough. I mean, you've got to have real organic content. And some of you probably heard me preach about WordPress here at the club, which yes. Sam's website yes. is built in WordPress. Those guys are standing strong. We haven't, you know, missed a beat through it all. Uh, I mean, we're talking big companies are off the first page. Big news. So, uh, anyway, if you want to know a little more about it, um, you know, talk to me. I've got some flyers back there. We do WordPress design and social media. That's another big thing that will keep your business uh, and your website ranked up there. Is if you have a proper social media, you can't really fake out Google anymore. So, got to got to do it the organic way. So, we can help you with that. We do blog writing. Uh, all sorts of stuff to keep your content fresh and great on their website. So That's great. Do you have your business cards in the back? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You, can, you can build your website from scratch or you can transfer and, uh, your website from HTML, which is a static kind of a website, into a dynamic website, which is a WordPress. And that's what we're using. The beauty of WordPress, you know, is because when you do social networking, all you got to do is just put a blog out and it will go all over the place. So just put it, post it to your website. And so Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn, every other social networking group out there is going to take a look at what you, what, what you put out there. It's like an incredible, incredible machine to get you out there all over the place. Okay? So any of you guys that really are looking for uh, a great web asset, this place is awesome. Okay? So uh, thank you for being here. Okay, folks. I know you didn't come to hear all of this stuff about me. and. Uh, Robin, you wanted to see Chris. Chris is back there. Um, I just uh, wanted to, um, I don't know, I'm crazy about technology. I love, I love technology, I love the internet, and I really am crazy about uh, you know, being able to do business on the internet. And we're doing a lot of business on the internet these days. So when I heard about Chris Bowser, I was, I, was, I was interested. I know maybe some people are not interested. Maybe they think that it's, you know, it's here today and gone tomorrow kind of thing. Or maybe it's not as strong. I think it's a very powerful way to be able to put your products out. Chris Bowser was a dropout, and he didn't have any money. He was completely broke. Suddenly, he essentially, what he decided to do was to create a niche for himself. So he became so good at the internet, eBay, and putting products and services on the internet that he sold literally, literally millions, millions of dollars. He's the nation's number one internet expert and selling products, services, including real estate, on the internet. So this guy is awesome for those of you who are annual members. If you miss anything tonight, go back and listen to him again because it's going to be put on our website okay, for future reference. So uh, this guy is incredible. I liked him. I had a little interview with him. I was amazed about some of the stuff that he talked about. And um, so he's here tonight. So help me welcome Chris Thompson. One being 
you know, not that great, too big, mediocre, three D expert. Raise your hand if you consider yourself on a computer level a one, a two, a three. Okay, so we got a couple. So the good thing about eBay is one of the things I'm going to show you is you don't need a ton of computer experience to get up and running. And especially what I notice about a lot of real estate investors is a lot of real estate investors are not really computer tech savvy people. Uh, if you can understand just a little bit about the internet and a little bit about eBay, you can make ten or twenty thousand dollars your next real estate deal using eBay. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So let's jump right into it. I got, I, got a, I got a bunch of good information. If anybody here has questions at any time, please raise your hands. I'd be happy to, uh, to, um, to answer them. If anybody wants to take me out for drinks later on, I'll be happy to accept them. I always say that, but it really works. <laughs> so, so I'm going to keep that on the table. Um, let's talk about a little bit what we're going to cover today. Okay? And what we're going to cover is, number one, like I said, I'm going to show you how you can make $45,000 a month. I'm going to show you how to discover how to flip real estate right on eBay. We're going to talk about how to use eBay to build a massive list. Okay. I want you to write this down. This is going to be kind of the mantra for the presentation. Your list is gold. I don't care what business you're in, you're in the list building business. If you're in the real estate business, the people you have on your buyer's list is what's going to grow your business, right? If you're in the internet business, it's the number of people you know, reading your emails. What I want to talk to you about today is how to build and explode that list. This is what we're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about, be, uh, talk about beating babies today, okay? Right. We're going to talk about, uh, what I want to cover some of the things I'm not going to be teaching you about this training. And number one, I'm not going to be teaching you stuff about stuff that used to work. Stuff like beating babies. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about how to sell the silly stuff, the crazy stuff. You know, the, uh, the virgin Mary grilled cheese or uh, Justin Bieber's hair. That's not on the agenda today. And lastly, I'm not going to give you another job. I don't want to give you another, you know, 30 hours a week. I want to give you another added income stream. Sound good? Yeah. Right. So here's some stuff I want you to write down. This is, stuff, this is some of the stuff that we're going to cover. Okay, number one, I'm going to talk about how investing in real estate right now is the number one strategy for gaining financial freedom on the internet. If you're not taking your real estate business online right now, you're missing the boat. Because people are spending more time online right now than they are doing anything else. They're spending more time online than they are watching TV. And get this, nearly 20% of all things sold on the internet are sold on eBay. One in every five sales online is conducted on eBay. That's how big eBay is. And get this, 90% of the people that are selling on eBay have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. It's 10% of the people that are making money hand over fist. For those of you guys that have bought on eBay, have you ever noticed when you go to eBay, you see those unprofessional looking listings? Let somebody you know, went into their house and they found that thing lying around the house and they listed it on eBay? 90% of the sellers are looking like that. It's 10% of the population that are making money hand over fist. Do you guys want to be part of that 10%? Yes? yes? All, right. all right. First of all, let me just give you a little background of who I am. Just so I can explain to you why I'm, uh, why I'm credible and, and why you can listen to me. Um, as, I, as, uh, as you see, my name is Chris Bosser. I'm from Boston, Mass. Uh, I try as best I can to hide the accent. For any of, those, for any of you that take me out for drinks later on, you'll hear it come out after the third drink. Uh, but uh, I grew up in Boston. I've, uh, I've been buying and selling on eBay for the last 10 years. I bought and sold tens of thousands of items, millions and millions of dollars of products. Uh, I've sold over $10 million worth of products online. Uh, I've built, I've been a real estate investor for the past five years. Right now I buy and sell mainly single family properties uh, locally around the Boston area. And I'm also part owner of two apartment complexes in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and uh, I've built tens of thousands of followers to my list. I have three different lists right now that I'm working that have over 100,000 people on each list. Uh, so I'm an internet marketer. I want to stress to you, I didn't start that way. I've never been that internet guy. Uh, my family history is my parents owned, uh, used to open a fish, used to run a fish market. My uh, my grandparents actually opened a fish market back in the mid '50s, just south of Boston, in a town called Abington. And uh, growing up, I worked at the fish market. My um, my dad took it over from my grandmother in the mid '70s, and then it was our family business. Uh, I learned a lot working at that fish market. The main thing I learned is I did not want to work at a fish market for the rest of my life. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of a fish market before? Yeah, you don't want to. The smell does not come out. 
But um, it was great. It was great for a number of years. Uh, unfortunately, my dad lost the business in uh, right around 2000, and um, uh, it, it was just going downhill. You know, that, that same small town businesses are not really thriving like they did before. You know, back in my parents' generation. So unfortunately, we lost the business. And and at that time, I was looking for stuff to you know stuff to do to make money. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. Um, and I looked into a number of different things. I want to stress to you though, I've really never been an internet person. Okay, I grew up, I played sports in high school. The senior year of high school, I took remedial typing. Me and 29 girls in the class. Mm -hmm. Best class ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? um, I'll give you this, fair advantage. I grew up with the dot com boom, so I grew up with a computer in the classroom, so I knew how to use a computer. I knew how to use AOL, it's the messenger. I knew how to use Google, I knew how to use that type of stuff. I did not know how to design a website. Today, I have no idea how to, do, to design a website. I pay my developers to do it. Um, the reason I got started with eBay is because a buddy of mine told me that if I wanted to make money online, the easiest thing to get going, aside from like affiliate marketing, building websites, and that type of stuff, was eBay. Because he said to me that eBay was user friendly. You guys heard that before? User friendly, yeah. eBay is extremely user friendly. The best thing about eBay is every single person in this room right now can be up online tonight selling on eBay. Do you guys know how eBay makes their money? Does anyone know? Or, uh, up, well, let's call it. Write this down. eBay chart. Let me just let me explain eBay so everyone knows how it works. You put a, you put up a product on eBay. You auction it off. You choose how long you want the auction to be. Three days, five days, seven days, ten days. Whoever wins it, highest bidder wins. eBay takes a percentage of that fee. They charge you fees. Okay, now I'll get into fee structure just a little bit and a little more depth into it, but there's no reason that any single person in this room right now should not start selling on eBay. Because eBay just changed its policy about two months ago that they're giving every single seller on eBay now 50 free listing fees per month. So your first 50 items are free for your listing fee for the first 50 items. They'll take a percentage of what you sell it for. But to list it, it cost you nothing. Okay? So I started by selling stuff I had lying around the house, and, and then it just grew. Uh, and uh, my business just kind of grew and grew. It went from selling stuff I had lying around the house into all different types of stuff. The reason I love eBay today is because as I am sitting here talking to you right now, I am making money. Raise your hand if you want to make money in your sleep. Yeah? Here's a day of my life. Okay? I'm not trying to brag, I just want to show you the, stuff, the type of stuff that I'm doing. This is January 19th, 2011. For however long I teach people how to make money on eBay, this slide will be in my presentation. Because it was one of the coolest days ever. <laughs> I was, um, alright, so eBay, you guys know, is, is worldwide, right? It's worldwide, it's in like, uh, right now I think it's in 42 or 48 countries, I can't remember exactly. But um, I've been invited to speak, and I've spoken in 17 different countries around the world teaching eBay. I've spoken all the way from, uh, you know, from Europe to Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand. On January 19th, I was invited to speak in Hong Kong. So I get up, I wake up, I go to the airport, I jump on a 45 minute flight from Boston to New York, and then on an 18 hour flight from New York to Hong Kong. Have you guys been on an 18 hour flight before? It, it sticks. <laughs> Literally, figuratively. Um, but anyways, I get off my flight, I open up my PayPal account, and in the 18 hours I was sitting on my plane, I sold $12,037 worth of stuff. <laughs> of that $12,000 in sales, I profited $4,113. Raise your hand if you want to profit $4,000 a day. How about on your next vacation? Would that be cool? Whether you make $4,000, whether you make $400, you can get started right now. Raise your hand if you want to make money today. Alright, cool. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you some homework right now. Write this down. What I want you to do is when you get home, I want you to walk around your house with a pad of paper. Seriously. Please do this. Yeah, yeah just wait. Do this if I, do this if anything, just to prove you're wrong, okay? Call me up and say I'm, I'm BS. Walk around your house with a pad of paper, write down 15 to 20 things you have lying around your house collecting dirt. I want you to go to ebay.com and I want you to type your item into the search bar and pull up a search. And then what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down 
On the left-hand side, I want you to click on completed listings. Completed listings. What that's going to tell you is that's going to tell you exactly in the last two weeks how many of your items that you have in your house have been listed on eBay. The ones in green will tell you exactly what they sold for. The ones in red did not sell. You will be amazed as to what people are paying for the stuff that's sitting in your house. Now this is my guess. When you get home today, tonight, you're going to walk around your house, you're going to come into your den or your basement, and you're going to see a huge treadmill sitting there. Your used treadmill just sold. Did you, by the way, does anybody trying to look like this right now? And <laughs> okay, now, your used treadmill just sold for four hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, you will be amazed. Let me show you some everyday stuff that's selling on eBay. Is that good? Is that cool? Raise your hand if you have any. Um, uh, raise your hand if you get a magazine subscription in your house. Magazine subscription. Okay, great. Write this down. Next time you're done reading your magazines, don't throw them away. Put them into a box. When the entire box fills up, sell the entire lot on eBay as an all-in-one package. Take a look at this magazine listing at the top. This guy sold a huge lot of miscellaneous WWE, WWF magazines. Not a complete set for 600 bucks. Wow. Do you guys know the WWE? The fake wrestling? Did I offend anybody? Take a look at this magazine. This guy sold a collection of old Mad magazines. In the title, there's a lot of them. Somebody paid 524 bucks for that. Whether it's an old uh, baseball card collection, random baseball card collection, thousands of cards, pretty good condition. Somebody paid 585 bucks for that. Anybody have an old car they want to sell? Take a look at this. Oh, anybody have an old version you want to get rid of? Look at this guy. This guy listed an antique Christian maple workbench, kitchen island. Somebody paid $950 for that. The fact of the matter is, you don't think you have something to sell on eBay? I don't believe you. Check this out. Six months ago, a man in Houston, Texas, walks out in his backyard, scoops up a jar of dirt, and sells it on eBay for $32. <laughs> a jar of dirt! Somebody paid $32 for this. This is the best, write this down. This is the best tip that I'm going to give you today. Stop asking why. <laughs> Please stop asking why. In real estate, why do people pay stupid prices for real estate? I don't know. They just do. Why do people give you houses with equity in them? I don't know. They just do. Why do people buy stupid stuff on eBay? I don't know. They just do. I want everyone to stand up for something. This is the best answer I've got. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Yeah. All right, I want to stand up for a second. Do me a favor. Put your hand over your heart. Yeah. I have something. I have something. I can sell on eBay. I can sell on eBay. Right now. Right now. Now with more passion. I have something. I have something. I can sell on eBay. I can sell on eBay. Right now. Right now. Except for my spouse. <laughs> I stole that from a guy in the front room one time. He literally grabbed his wife's arm, lifted it up. He's like, what about that? <laughs> kind of like you just did. Um, all right, this is what, write these down. This is what we're going to talk about today. This is, this is, these are the notes I want you to take. Okay, number one, what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to cover uh, is why you need to be selling on eBay. Oh, that's weird. When I switch it from a Mac to a PC, it doesn't fit. That's strange. Uh, why you need to be selling on eBay right now? We're going to talk exactly about what type of properties work best and what type of products. Um, like I said, I speak fast. I try to cover a lot of, a lot of information. If you have questions, raise your hand. We're going to go through exactly what type of properties are best for eBay and specifically what type of products work best. And then I'm going to show you how to automate this and how you can find these products. And lastly, we're going to have some fun. I flew here from Boston, okay? I want to have some fun with you guys. Can I enroll you guys to have some fun? Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Here's some stuff I want you to write down about why eBay. Why eBay? Why eBay? Because right now, 1.8 billion items sold on eBay this year. It's a billion, not a million. Over $52 billion in sales. If eBay was considered a nation, it would be the seventh largest in the world. There's 84 million active users buying and selling on eBay. There's a total of 300 million people on eBay right now. Okay, it's huge. The toughest part about making money on the internet 
Like, every single one of you right now can have a website up and running tonight. But other than your brother, your sister, your mother, your friends seeing that website, people aren't going to it, right? The toughest part about, it, about internet marketing is driving, tra targeting traffic to your website. The reason we love eBay is because the traffic's already there. Now, why eBay real estate? Write these facts down. Number one, eBay real estate is the largest real estate traffic website on the planet. The number of properties, more people looking at real estate right now on eBay than any other website. The number of properties that sold last year doubled from, from the year before, or from this year from last year. And, and here's the thing, right? I do not want to teach you a thing about real estate tonight. That's not my goal. I want you to stay focused. If you're into multifamilies, single families, um, flipping, I, I, don't, I want you to stay focused on that. I'm going to show you how you can use eBay with your current strategy. Uh, because I can show you how to find deals for pennies on the dollar. Students of mine are finding deals on eBay all day long. Some of my students that are, that are finding recent deals on eBay, Justin Kim from Bakersfield, bought this property on eBay, is profiting at $1,200 a month renting it out. Okay? Uh, Jim Works, one of my students from Columbia, South Carolina, picked up this property for $4,000, flipped it for a little over $12,000, profited $7,200. Uh, Larry Cummings with this commercial property on eBay, profited $6,376. Uh, you can buy land. Write this down. All the different properties, that, that type of properties that are sold on eBay. Number one, single families, multi families, commercial, land, you name it. What about this? Raise your hand if you've ever bought a property before. You come with stuff in the property. You buy this property, you got a bunch of stuff inside the property. All right. This is one of my students. This is Phyllis Curtis. Phyllis Curtis is from Fort Lauderdale. Okay? She goes into when she finds a property in her backyard, for sale by owner. She goes into the property. When she walks into the property, this is what it looks like. Okay? She found herself a hoarder. You guys seen that show? Hoarder or hoarders on TLC? Check this out, right? She's cleaning the, the, she's got like a group of guys in there cleaning it up, scooping everything up. She goes into one of the rooms and after two days of cleaning this room, she finds out that what she's been walking on is a grand piano. <laughs> it was that much crap in the house, okay? She goes down in the basement and she starts finding a whole bunch of different stuff. Box stuff and stuff, brand new in boxes. This person would just buy stuff and then just hoard it, okay? She finds a whole bunch of Disney numbers different like figurines and stuff like that. Brand new, in boxes, collectibles, all that type of stuff. She takes, fixes up the property, goes and rents a storage unit for a couple hundred bucks a month, throws everything she finds in a storage unit. Over the course of three months, she flipped the property, sold off the property, made $32,000 selling the property. Over the course of the next three months, of listing and selling all the stuff that she found on eBay, she profited $104,000. Over seventy thousand dollars from selling stuff. Raise your hand if you like a deal like that. Okay. Here's the deal, right? If you, you can find a bunch of crap in your house, you can find a hidden gem. Sift through the stuff you have. Hire a high school kid to list it for you. Find somebody to list this stuff for you. This is all added cash. Imagine adding seventy thousand dollars to your next real estate deal. Wouldn't that be a good deal? Yeah. Right. Let's write down some tips on how to find good deals on you. Okay. Now, yes. Sorry. You said you can be up and running tonight. Yep. Do you have to register and pay a fee monthly? There's no monthly fee to get started. We'll, we'll, I'll go through the fees in just a minute, but you can register tonight, have your account up. You need to create a, uh, create a buyer's account, and then you need to create a seller's account. Okay? And does everyone know how we collect money on eBay? PayPal. PayPal. Okay? We'll go into that in just a minute. But what you're going to do is basically to create a seller's account. They're going to make two. You need to connect your bank account to your seller's account. They're going to make two small withdrawals from your account, like three cents and two cents. You just need to go back and check your bank account, find out what those were, enter a bank, and then you have the ability to up and sell today. And you have. Is that supposed to be a business checking account? You can do your personal check. Either or. It's totally up to you. It can be a personal account. Uh, I would recommend starting out using your personal account and then I'll, and then separate the business later on if you want to. Uh, but to create one account and have it under one account, you can't go and create multiple accounts on either one. They limit that stuff. Okay? Uh, 
Um, so let's talk about how to find some good deals. Okay, first things first, write down some of these stuff. Number one, go to realestate.ebay.com to find some good deals. Go to realestate.ebay.com. You want to search for properties that have no reserve. What that is, when you put your auction up on eBay, you can set how long, um, how long you have the auction for. Okay, so three days, five days, seven days. You can say, hey, I don't want to sell it for less than this amount. So that's called the reserve price. If your reserve is not met, nobody's going to win your auction. When you're looking for deals on eBay, search for properties that have no reserves. 90% of the real estate that's listed on eBay is listed by inexperienced sellers that are just trying to market and promote their deal. You can pick up deals for incredibly low prices. Filter out the condos and timeshares. Do not waste your time ever buying a condo and timeshare on eBay. It's just not going to be worth it. Uh, in a second, I want to show you a cool software I developed called Leads Alert Pro that will kind of uh, pull pumps for you and I and show you how to automate it. Uh, but write this one down. Number four, number five, you may laugh at this. Make sure you're not bidding just on the down payment for the property. One of the, the tactics that marketers have been using on eBay is uh, marketing the auction for the down payment to buy the property. Okay. If you have properties out of the area, contact your national realtor. You can utilize, I want one thing, if you're looking at deals in other areas, being a member of the National RIA, you can then go and contact those RIAs and they will help you out. They'll give you property analysis, they'll give you market research on that area, they'll give you, you can ask them about the property, about the area, uh, utilize these resources. Sorry. Um, do you have any tips on how to weed out the, the down payment scams? Uh, how to weed them out? Just don't even, don't even bid on them. No, what I'm saying, how do you identify? Oh, it'll, it'll say it in their description, okay? So basically this is how the listing works. There's, we'll get, I'm sorry, we'll get into that in, in, in kind of jumping back and forth, but in the, if, you, if you click on the listing and you scroll down, all of the description explains the property. Understand this, when you buy a prop, piece of property on eBay, it's not a binding contract, okay? You're, set, you're setting terms, it's basically like a verbal agreement, okay? And the way eBay makes their money is they, eBay takes a percentage of what you sell stuff for, they don't in the real estate section, but they do for products. The reason we list products on eBay, properties on eBay is because of mass exposure. All right, you're getting exposure to millions of people and you're setting up the agreement to buy the problem. Um, the latest deal I bought on, I bought on uh, this is actually latest, but it was January, it was the last real estate deal on eBay. Picked it up for 31,000. Sold it 12 days later for $42,151. $10,000 in 12 days. Raise your hand if you want to deal like that. All it was, write this down, all I did was buy the property and remarketed it on eBay. All, it's all I did. I never even saw this property. I had it under contract and then I just resold it. Write this down. He who markets best wins. He who markets best wins. You can look for land deals, same thing. You can look for, look for really, really inexpensive land deals and just turn around and remarket them. Picked up this property for $100, 12 days later, between a you 10-day know, auction, resold it for $1,934, okay? Now before I get more into real estate, let me just kind of show you exactly how my business transitioned and, and where it is today. I started selling stuff I had lying around my house. Little things, I mean, I have a younger brother, um, his name's Adam. He, uh, he, I'm 30, he's 27 now. And uh, growing up, we played baseball, we played sports, and uh, so when we first started something, actually, before we get that, the very first thing I ever sold was a pair of sneakers I found hanging from a tree. I cut them down, I put them on eBay, and sold them for $45. <laughs> 45 bucks. You know, they were a pair of uh, the Air Jordans. You guys know those? Yeah. Big difference, they were hanging from a tree, not a telephone wire. Anybody know the difference there? Yeah. Telephone wires mean that it's like gangs, it's a gang sign for like gang area. Oh, yeah. I found that out giving a presentation actually. Somebody was like, I hope it wasn't a telephone wire. Uh, and then a cop told me that. But um, we found them, it, the Jordans, I mean, if you, if you watch the news lately about these, the, the kids are still like bombarding uh, malls as soon as the Jordans come out. Um, we were selling, we found a pair of sneakers, we cleaned them up, listed them, sold them on eBay for 45 bucks. 
And that was like the start of, stop asking why, okay? Stop asking why. You can see it's running in your head right now. Stop asking why. Just start listing stuff. I guarantee you start listing stuff, you're going to be amazed. Everything will sell. It may take a couple times. You may have to get the pricing right, but it will sell. Um, we started selling stuff like that. We started listing stuff in our basement. Um, and then when we ran out of stuff, I started stealing stuff from family members and selling that stuff. All right, I'm just kidding. Um, I'd go to family members and I'd say, hey, listen, what if I sell what you don't want? Do you have any antiques? Stuff like that that you don't want? I'll, I'll give you 50% of whatever we can sell for. Is that a deal? 50% of something is better than 0% of nothing, right? Right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Better than 100% of nothing. Sorry. Um, so that's what we did. And then it just started growing and growing and growing. And, uh, and I, we got into collectibles. We got into, write this down. Antiques and collectibles. Antiques and collectibles are the biggest selling category on eBay. Uh, almost one in every five things sold on eBay is an antique or collectible. <coughs> yep. Anybody have any antiques or collectibles collecting dirt in their house right now? Antique clocks, antique silver are probably the two biggest. Collectibles are niche products. Um, Harley Davidson, uh, Disney, Coca Cola, the biggest uh, collectibles. Uh, we got into selling that. How yes. can how can you evaluate the price? I'll get in that in just a second. I'll get in that in just a second. Yes. For other people? Because so many people were bringing in rubbish and it wasn't worth their time. That's the problem. There was no margin because what they were doing is they were taking like 20, 20 to 25 percent and it wasn't worth their time to list these products. That's why. I don't go into any, first of all, whenever I'm listing stuff for other people, um, I need at least 50 percent and it's got to be worth my time. So you focus on products that are, that are, uh, that are, uh, that are worth it. Uh, the reason I love eBay though, I mean, I'm still doing this today. Should I some proof that all they're still doing this? June 14th, this summer, uh, I took out $18,350 out of my account in profit that week. Very next week, I took out $17,477 in profit. Again, I'm not trying to impress you. I just want to impress upon you that I'm out there doing this business. I'm doing it every day. You guys want to hear about my biggest day ever? Yeah? You guys heard of the PlayStation 3? Mm -hmm. Everyone heard of the PlayStation 3? Mm -hmm. All right. PlayStation 3 came out, hit stores, November 2006. <coughs> now, if you were lucky to get one in the store, you could go to the store and you could pick it up in the store for $600. That very day, they were selling on eBay for anywhere between $3,000 and $4,500. A doctor in upstate New York paid $17,000 for one PlayStation 3. Stop asking why. <laughs> so, so at the time, I'm selling all my stuff on eBay. So I decided to open up operation, get as many PlayStation 3s as possible. Okay, so where do you go to get them? eBay. eBay. If you want to pay three or four grand, or Best Buy, you go wait in line, right? Okay, you can go wait in line for the store to open up. You can only buy one at a time. Okay, so this is what I do. At the time, my brother's from the University of Hartford playing baseball. So I drive down to the University of Hartford, I pick up my brother, 12 of his baseball buddies, at 2 in the morning with coffee and donuts. There may or may not have been alcohol involved in the imagination. Okay? I give each kid 50 bucks for doing this. We drive down to the nearest Best Buy. We wait in line, okay? And we have a camp out and wait in line. Now, 8 a.m. when the store opens up, we go inside. I give each kid $600. Within 24 hours, I had every single one of those PlayStation 3 sold for anywhere between $3,000 and $4,500. I opened up my PayPal account to a cool, prof cool profit of over $30,000. Can I get a round of applause for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Raise your hand right now if you wake up at 3 in the morning for $30,000. Yeah, how many night how many people? How many morning people? How many nights to sleep all day? <laughs> Would you wake up for 30 grand? You see, I made 30 grand because that was the hot product that was selling right then and there. Do you want to know what the other selling products are right now? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Go to this website. Go to pulse.ebay.com. Pulse.ebay.com. No www, just pulse.ebay.com. 
Pulse is a website that's connected directly to eBay. It tells you the top 10 hottest products that people are looking for. It'll tell you the top 10 overall, and then it will tell you the top 10 in every category. Top 10 in collectibles, top 10 in, in clothing, top 10 in electronics. You look at the top 10 right now, you're going to see, write this down, you're going to see brand names. Brand names. Popular brand names. Brand names like Coach, like Apple, like Louis Vuitton, like Burberry, like Nike. Look in your house to see if you have any products like this sitting in your closet, in your basement. Apple is huge. Uh, Apple is Apple's an anomaly. I mean, uh, Apple probably, if you have access to any Apple products, uh, great place. Uh, right, did you know that right now Apple is the number one most profitable retail store in America? Check this out. Number one, Apple. Number two, Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue profits $750 per square foot, per store, per month. Apple profits over 1400 They are double more profitable than any other store in America. It's crazy. So if you have any access to those products, look around your house, see, what's, see what you have, see if you have anything on top 10 lists. Because that's stuff that will sell in 24-hour listings. You can put it up in a 24-hour listing and it will sell for top dollar. It's exactly what Connie Dalton did. Connie Dalton, one of my students from LA, Said after I started the system, he told me to check out Pulse, and I was amazed to see a lot of the things I had lying around my house in the top 10 list. Seven days after getting started, I made over $6,165.99 selling just four items. Thank you so much for this. Oh, here's a picture of a $5,000 profit check that I just took out. Raise your hand if you want a $5,000 profit check to take out. That'd be a good day. That'd be a good week. What if you made half of that? Would that be a good week? Just take a look at the stuff you already have in your life and you might have access to. Because this is stuff that can sell right now. And there's no expense to get started. Um, you don't think you have something to sell on eBay? I don't believe you. Get creative. Check this out. This right here is Don Williams. Okay? This is Don Williams. He's from Knoxville, Tennessee. This is his wife. And those are his two grandkids. Unfortunately, Don Williams has a sudden heart attack and passes away. And his wife, his wife is now left by herself. And over a number of months, she is not dealing with the loss of her husband very well. So over time, uh, the son and the two grandkids and his wife decide to move in with her because she's left by herself and she's having a difficult time. And she can't deal with it, process it very well. And over time, she starts fixating in her mind that her dead husband's spirit is with him. His spirit is encompassed in is Cain. She has herself a haunted Cain. My question to you is, where do you sell a haunted Cain? <laughs> eBay, right? How much do you sell a haunted Cain for? As much as you can? You're going to be amazed to know this haunted Cain sold on eBay for $65,100. <laughs> Guys, I want you to know, I heard the story, I came home, everything in my house was haunted. <laughs> I started listening to haunted cell phones, haunted laptops, haunted you, you name it. Anybody have a haunted house for sale? <laughs> you do now? Um, stuff like this, again, stop asking why, okay? Stuff like this is selling every single day, all right? Get creative. All right, how do you benefit with eBay right now? Write this down. eBay equals instant cash. eBay means instant cash. We sell stuff on eBay through PayPal. They pay us through PayPal. PayPal is the number one safest, most secure money transfer site on the web. Anybody know who owns PayPal? eBay. eBay. <laughs> eBay and PayPal guarantee anything you sell on eBay up to $50,000 in insurance. So if you ship out a product to somebody and they pay PayPal, they're going to guarantee you get your money. So you can feel safe in sending your product. Best part about eBay is you create your own schedule. You can work on eBay whenever you want. It's 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. It never shuts down. The best part about eBay is you can help out your family. I'm sure, I'm sure that every single person in this room right now has a family member you'd like
like to help out? You know, somebody that you'd like to give an added income stream to, or you know, show how to do this business. I'm a huge family person. I come from a really big family. I have uh, three, you know, three siblings. But then I have, I have on my dad's side, I have 40 cousins. And uh, growing up, we all worked at the fish market. We always called it putting our time in the fish market. Everybody had to put time in the fish market. Um, and when I was 23 years old, I started making really good money for myself. Really good money for. And uh, the person that I most wanted to help out was my dad. Because my dad, when he lost our family fish market, he was 50 years old. He, had, uh, he didn't have a college degree. He dropped out of college to take over um, his mom's fish market. Ran the fish market for a number of years. And at 50, is now jobless and has no idea what he's going to do. And um, I've got to say that like, when, I, when I realized I wanted to help him out, I needed to develop a very simple step-by-step -step system so that he could get out and running on eBay. Um, my dad didn't have a lot of computer experience. Uh, he didn't, uh, he, I mean, I specifically, I joke about this, but I specifically remember hearing my dad ask me, uh, Chris, how do I right click? <laughs> hey, Chris, how do I copy and paste? Chris is telling me, hit any key, where's the any key? <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> You're a bunch of liars, okay? Because <laughs> I get people to ask me that. Um, but uh, that was my dad. Unfortunately, he didn't know the business, and uh, he didn't know much of his computer. He never grew up with a computer. It wasn't there. Uh, fortunately for him, I developed that step-by-step -step system. He plugged it in. He's working in the area now. Today, my dad's only source of income is from selling on eBay. This is my dad. My dad buys and sells two products. That's it. Want to know what they are? No. Write these down. <laughs> Cell phones and laptops. Cell phones and laptops. Two of the easiest, hottest selling products on eBay. If you're wondering, is there any money in, in cell phones or laptops? Here's a copy of my dad's very best single day of profit. My dad, on February 7th of this year, paid $14,750 in one day. Raise your hand if you want to be like that. What if you made half of that? Would that be a good day? Absolutely. Cell phones and laptops are two of the hottest selling products. Uh, I'll show you why right now. Uh, anybody know why? Uh, anybody know? All right. So, uh, let's say you break your cell phone. Okay, you break your cell phone. You go back to Verizon. You go back to T-Mobile. You go back to AT&T. Wherever. You break your cell phone. You get a new one. What happens? Another two-year contract, right? People are going to eBay and are willing to buy cell phones to not be locked into contracts. Okay. Want to know some of the best places to find these cell phones and laptops? Mm -hmm. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Write these down. Number one, wholesalers. <clears throat> wholesalers. In a couple minutes, I'm going to give you some great wholesalers you can do business with. Number two, Craigslist. I cannot tell you how easy it is to make money off Craigslist. It is the easiest thing in the world. I will show you why right now. Raise your hand if you've ever sold something on Craigslist. Okay, buy a yes or a no. Is the reason you sold it on Craigslist because you wanted somebody to come give you cash and take that thing out of your life? Yes? Okay. Did you end up selling it for less than what you really had hoped to get for it? No. Yeah. Oh, got, a, got a couple notes. Okay, write this down. Write this down. 80% of people that list on Craigslist. 80%. This is my own Chris Bowser statistics of doing business on Craigslist for two years, for 10 years. 80% of people that list something on Craigslist will accept less than what they're trying to sell it for if you offer them a fast cash solution. If you send out 10 autoresponder emails to go to 10 people listing the same product for the same price, eight of them will accept less than what they're trying to sell it for. The reason that you can sell on Craigslist is it's easy to do. It's fast cash. What Craigslist sellers do not realize that is, is that if you just took it and marketed it on eBay, you're not marketing locally anymore. You're marketing globally. You have to wait around three to five days sometimes for that auction to end, but you're not limiting yourself to that same small buying tool. Buying tool. For big, large items, sure, Craigslist can be good because you don't have to ship these up. But for cell phones, laptops, and other small electronics, eBay is 10 times better. I used to have a business 
I don't do it anymore just because it's too much of a pain in the, in the neck for me to manage because it got so big. I was finding so many deals on Craigslist in my local market for cell phones that I literally controlled my market. I couldn't even like I couldn't even find any more deals because I was buying everything. I buy them on Craigslist. I just turn around and sell them on eBay. And then what I found out is I would have people. I, if I if there was other markets I could go to, so I would hire kids that I knew that were in college in different cities around the country. And at one time I had eight markets going all across the U.S. I had kids in those markets that were looking. Actually, they weren't even looking for deals. You want to want to hear how to automate some of this stuff? Are you guys sure. interested, yeah. interested in virtual assistants? Yeah. 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 Write this down. Go to odesk.com. Give me the water back there. Can I grab that glass? Or whatever you, whatever you grab. Odesk, the letter O, D E S K dot com. Odesk is great. VA networking dot com is great. Thanks. Appreciate that. If you want to stay US and hire US, you can hire virtual assistants in the Philippines for $2 an hour to do work for you. And it only takes them like two to three hours to do the work. If you want to stay in the States and, and employ Americans, go to HireMyMom.com. You can get uh, stay-at-home working moms for about four to six bucks an hour. And um, so what we're going to do is we would have virtual assistants just looking for deals. I would give these virtual assistants the, pro the price of the product that I was looking for, the cell phone at the time, and say, I'm willing to spend this amount of money, that's the max. And I would reward them every time they get somebody that said less. So they would literally just send out offers all day long for me. Pre-scripted emails that I wrote to get people to, to sell me products. As soon as somebody said yes, they notified my person in that market, they would go pick up the product, I would fund their bank account. Again, this was people, I'm not telling you to do this, I'm just telling you this is how easy it was. Uh, these are people I knew and trusted. I would put like 20 grand in each bank account, and we would just buy products all day long, and the whole time, me at home is just listing them on eBay. Every time I sold one, they'd stick a label in the box, they'd send it out for me. It was that easy. It is still that easy. Did you know there's a free section on Craigslist? There is a free section where you can go on and find stuff. A lot of rubbish, sure, but there's still great stuff. A couple months back, this is like six months ago, me and my brother Adam sat in our office and recorded a video of us going onto the free section on Craigslist. We literally went around town, picked up 10 items, put them on three-day listings, and sold everything for $850. It was free. Is that a good deal? Is that a good return on your investment? Cell phones, laptops are two of like, the easiest products. I say cell phones because it's still amazing what people are willing to pay. Raise your hand if you want to make a quick 500 bucks. Okay. Anyone here have an iPhone? Okay, great. Anybody available for an upgrade right now? Okay, a few of you guys. Here's the deal. If you're available for an upgrade, okay, this will work for you and it'll also work for you if you're not available. If you're available for an upgrade, you can go to your provider and get a brand new iPhone, what is it, the 4S now? 4S thing. Before the 5 comes out. You can go get a brand new iPhone 4S. That'll cost you $200. Downside is you're locked into another two year contract. When you get that phone, tell them that you're giving it to your significant other as a surprise. And they'll come back and they'll set it all up. Right now, keep it in the box, keep it sealed. Do you want a gift wrap for it? That same exact brand new in the box sealed iPhone 4S right now is selling on eBay for between $1,000 and $1,200. When you get home, go to eBay and type in brand new in the box sealed iPhone 4S. You will see at the minimum they're selling for $900. The downside of this is. is you just made, you know, seven, nine, or a thousand dollars. Okay, you're locked in another two-year contract. You still have your phone. Best place to go buy another iPhone is go to Craigslist. Cell phones are like brand new cars. The second you drive them off a lot, the value drops tremendously. The second you unseal that box, the value goes down tremendously. We at one time, this and again, everything that I'm going to teach you is completely legal. Okay. Completely legal. Some of it may be a little unethical. Okay? <laughs> All right? Did you know about uh, you know the family plans AT&T has? Check this out. 
one time, when, uh, one, one day, this actually happened over two days. One day, my brother and I found out about the family plan. We went to Apple and got five iPhones and started a family plan. It's $200 a phone. Then what we did, all those phones, we sold them on eBay for, at the time, they were selling for about 800 bucks. This was back when the 3G was up. We sold, we sold them all for about 800 bucks. We called up Apple, we canceled the, canceled the, the uh, family plan. Cancellation fee was $250. So we just spent $450, we sold it for $800, we made about $300 after fees for each phone, okay? $1,500 per store. You know how many stores we hit up in two days before they got onto us? 22 stores. 22 stores before they caught onto us. Again, completely legal, a little unethical. Um, cell phones are huge though. I mean, you can go there right now. If, you, if you're not available for an upgrade, you can get another brand new iPhone 4S. I think it costs you $400 right now. That phone is selling for $1,100. It's amazing how, how easy it is. Um, Craigslist is a great way. Wholesalers are a great way to find products. And like they said, in just a second, we're going to go through, we're going to go through some great wholesalers. Because if you can start wholesaling, you can just start streamlining products. You're not you're not dealing with the ones and twos, finding products here, finding products there. Wholesaling does it for you. Uh, I can teach your kids how to do it too. Hey, everybody, know this guy all? Yeah. What's his name? He's from your area. He's from Boston. He's his a fireman. Name? He's a fireman. See his shirt right there? It says send Dave. Dave. Fireman Dave. His name is Dave Seymour. Write this down. I like, I like promoting this because he's actually famous now. He has a TV show out. He's a big wig, yeah. He's, uh, you, guys, you guys have seen Flip This House? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Flip This House has been canceled. But Amy has a brand new show called Flip. Uh, there's a three of them. There's Flipped Out, uh, there's Flipping Boston. <coughs> Dave is the star of Flipping Boston. Dave's one of my best friends. He, uh, if you see his t shirt, it says Sin City. He's a fireman in Lynn, Massachusetts. And you guys know Lynn? Yeah. yeah, Lynn, Lynn, the city of sin. You never come out the same way you came in. <laughs> I swear, that's the reputation of Lynn. Um, but uh, anyways, so Dave's a fireman. He, um, I met him at a real estate seminar back in like 06, 06 or 07, I can't remember. And if you met, if you watch the show, he's, a, he's an extremely funny guy. They, Amy went out looking for real estate uh, uh, flippers that were doing deals. They found him, he's got an awesome personality. And uh, him and I have been really good friends for a number of years now. And uh, we help each other out. He helps me a lot with the real estate stuff. I help him all with the internet stuff. And um, if you watch the show, he's a great personality. He's like a really funny guy. And um, I, when I first started teaching, I want to like, I've never been the person to want to get up on stage. Dave came, came from a, a theater background. He gave me some pointers, he gave me some help. And uh, he always said to me, just get up there and picture everyone naked. I can promise you, we'll only do it for a couple of minutes right now. <laughs> A couple of you girls right now. <laughs> Just throw that out there. Um, but anyways, he, um, like I said, he helps me out with stuff. I help him out with stuff. We partners on we partner on deals together. If you watch his show, Flipping Boston, there was four episodes recorded, um, and on one of the deals, I'm actually his money partner. I'm the guy that, that funded the deal. Unfortunately, I didn't get on camera. But um, they just signed him for 13 more episodes. So keep an eye out for Flipping Boston. It's a great show. But um, so anyways. I'm sitting in his house one day, and I decide that I'm going to start helping his son make money on eBay. Okay? And I decide, we're sitting there saying, it's like, dude, like, can you help my kid do this? I'm like, well, why not, right? He's 16 years old. Oh, at the time, sorry, at the time he's 15 years old. And uh, so I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. He just needs somebody to set him up a, uh, you know, a PayPal account so, because he needs a credit card and all that. But after that, absolutely. So I sit down with him, and I'm like, all right, dude, give me your life. You know, where do you go? What do you do? How do we find stuff for you to sell? He's 15 years old. Okay, the kid goes to school. He goes to practice, football practice. He comes home. Then he starts telling me that on the weekends, he goes with his mom's mom to flea markets. Write this down. Next time you go to a flea market, write down 10 to 15 items that you see that are popular brand names, what they're selling for. Because check this out. I have a software that you can punch in, where all you do is punch in what you're listing and what you're selling, and it'll tell you what you can get for it. It tells you, it analyzes everybody else on eBay, and it tells you how to list it and what you're going to get for it. 
So I say go there, punch him, you know, go back, write down the stuff, bring him back, we'll punch him in, we'll find out, we'll highlight the winners, you go back and buy him, we'll turn around and sell him. Within the first three weeks, this kid had $100 in his bank account. We turned $100 into $900 in three weeks. He's now 16 years old. His very best single week of profit came this year when he made $2,735.05 in one week. Raise your hands if you'd like a week like that. Raise your hands if you'd like a 16 year old that you know coming home in a week like that. <laughs> if I can give you one piece of advice, get your kids involved in stuff like this. Get your kids involved in systems like eBay especially, because let's face it, right? They already have the knowledge base. Are they not better on a computer than we are? Yes. Okay, I, my, my little sister Casey, okay, is 19 years old, and she's better on a computer at certain things than I am. Get your kids involved. Get your kids involved in systems like this, because you know what? They can create wealth for the rest of their lives. And wouldn't you agree that the saddest thing about our educational system right now is that we don't teach kids to be entrepreneurs? Yes? Yeah. Get them involved. Okay, now what I want to do is, is, is this good stuff so far? Yeah. You guys learned a lot? Yeah. All right. What I want to do right now is I'm going to jump back into real estate and I want to show you some really cool ways to start exploding your list. Okay? And I'm going to walk you through a tutorial right now of how to use eBay to build a massive list. Okay? Uh, it's not very difficult, but I want you to do it. I want you to at least test it because you're going to be amazed at what you can do. First things first, we established that you can buy and sell any types of properties on eBay. Now, here's the thing. There's massive traffic on eBay right now. There's 300 million people on eBay. Wouldn't it be cool if we could drive them to our website or drive them wherever we want? Would that be good? Yes or yes? yes. Write this down. eBay does not allow you. eBay does not allow you to drive traffic from eBay to your website. eBay does not allow you to drive traffic from eBay to your website unless you know how. You guys want to know how? Yeah. Okay. To understand this, you need to write these, these two sections down. There's two main sections of eBay. The first one is the auction section. You put up a product. You auction it off, you set the date, you say I want to auction it for seven days, highest bidder wins. You can put a reserve on there if you want, highest bidder wins. eBay makes their money taking a piece of what you sell it for. In the auction section, you cannot put a link to your website. You can't put your email address in your auction. You can't put your phone number, because then eBay doesn't make any money. What you can do is you can put a link to your social media account. eBay likes social media. You can put a link to your Facebook account, to your Twitter account, or to your LinkedIn account. Where if you're advertising a property, you can put a link in there to go to your Facebook account. They can become friends with you, and then you can market them as much as you want for free. Raise your hand right now if you currently do not have a Facebook account. Wow, still a few of you guys left out there, huh? Do you guys realize that you guys are like part of the population of people that don't have electricity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I am totally cool with you not having a personal Facebook account. Understand. Please create one for your business. You can put it under your business name, with a business logo, with a business email address. Nobody will know you. More people are on Facebook as I'm sitting here talking to you right now than any other website on the planet. And you're just losing out on, on, on free marketing if you're not there. <coughs> the cool part about eBay is you can, you, can, you can eliminate that whole driving targeted traffic because you put up an ad for a real piece of real estate, you put it on a link to your, your Facebook account, they go to your Facebook account, they become friends with you, they're interested in real estate, now you can market to them as much as you want. Within, you know, there's ways to market them, but you have a person that's now reading your, your, your marketing. That's one way. Now I want to talk about the second section of eBay, and this is what's called the classified ad section. Write this down, the classified ad section. 
In the classified ad section, you can put your auction up, but it's not an auction, it's just an ad. You put it up for 30, 60, 90 days. Actually, you can do 10 days as well if you want. 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. In the classified ad section, you are allowed to put links to your website. You are allowed to put your phone number. You are allowed to put your email address. You can go as far as putting an actual squeeze page right there on eBay. Everyone know what a squeeze page is? No. This is it right here. Where you collect people's information. You've all seen them on the side of like the internet sites where it says, you know, enter your name and email and I'm going to send you a free gift. And then you start getting like 17 emails a day. <laughs> well, no, there's a good way to market to people. By asking for your information and marketing them good information and giving value, people will read your emails. If you're just trying to sell them stuff, they're not going to read your emails. You have to provide value. Okay? And then people do business with people do business with people they know, they like, and they trust. So what I'm going to walk through right now is an example of one of a classifier that I want you to create. Now, I took screenshots because I didn't have a live, so I had to take snippets and I scrolled down the screen. There's three things I want you to focus on here. Number one, multiple photos. Number two, video. And number three, squeeze page. If you have a piece of property that you're trying to sell or you just want to build a buyer's list, copy this exact method. Now, number one, take multiple photos of your property. The more the better. <clears throat> record a video of your property. To record a video, get yourself a flip video camera. Or a smartphone records all the enough video. Or a digital video camera. Record a video of your property. Narrate through walk while you're walking through your property. <clears throat> I want you to understand that online photos answer questions for people. Videos allow you to connect with people. So talk about, write this down, features and benefits. Features and benefits. Whenever you're marketing anything, focus on features and benefits. That's what people care about. So when you're talking about your property, narrate through your property, talk about features and benefits. Once you get your video on your computer, go to one of these three sites. Go to YouTube, Vidler, or Vimeo.com. YouTube, Vidler, or Vimeo.com. I recommend Vidler or Vimeo. They're much cleaner than YouTube. They look more professional. More importantly, all of these sites are free. Do we like free? Yeah. Yes. You, these are video streaming websites. You can upload video, they render it, and then they give you two different things. They'll give you a link to the video, which you can copy and paste somewhere. But when you do that, they go right to Vidler and Vimeo and they watch it on there or YouTube. Or you can grab the HTML code. Okay, write that down, the HTML code. All you have to do is generate the HTML code for the video, copy it, and paste it in your email listing. And when you do that, when somebody's looking at your listing and they're scrolling through your ad, the video pops up and plays right on eBay. It doesn't take them from eBay over to YouTube. They can watch it right there just by grabbing that HTML code. Under that, you want to give people a chance to enter their information so you can squeeze their information. So you can say, hey, would you like more information on this property or properties like this? Enter your information. You don't have to be a brainiac to set the stuff up. There's some great resources out there that will do a lot of this stuff for you. I recommend these two sites, Constant Contact or Eye Contact. Constant contact or eye contact? These are both CRMs. Customer Relationship Managers. They allow you to uh, collect people's information online and then set up autoresponders to email them. Both of these sites are free to get started. They'll give you like a 30-day trial for free. 
and then they charge you based on the number of contacts you have in your database. So the more database people you get in there, the more emails you're sending out, the more you know, you're charged. It's cost doing business. Yes? Do they manage like opt-in, opt-out? Do you yep. Do all that fun. There's a million of these companies out there, okay? Aweber, Infusionsoft, GetResponse, there's a million. I recommend these two because they're extremely user-friendly for new internet marketers. A lot of my students have really good success with these because you can go in, they have general templates you can choose from. You just click what you want to collect, generate the HTML code, copy it, paste it. When they enter that information, it goes right in your your database. And here's why I'm telling you to do this. This app, okay, write this down. The average classified ad on eBay, the average classified ad, gets about 15,000 page views in 30 days. That means not that people pull up a search and scroll by your ad. That means 15,000 people click on your ad and then scroll down and see your entire ad in a month. This exact listing that my student put up, 14,250 people viewed it. 1,100 people filled out their information. <laughs> what is the app? 1,100 prospects. Raise your hand if you think this is just a little bit better than putting up signs around the neighborhood. <laughs> yes? Start doing this. For some ridiculous reason, eBay is allowing you to do this stuff right now. I don't know why, but they are. So take advantage of it. Okay? Yes, yes. Um, I'm just trying to, can you repeat the average classified ad on eBay? Average classified ad will get about 15,000 page views in 30 days. The answer to the reason why is because they're trying to compete with Craigslist. What's that? I think the reason why is because they're trying to compete with Craigslist. Compete with Craigslist? Probably. Probably. Yes? What's um, Kijiji? We'll get into that in just a second. They own Kijiji as well. Okay. Kijiji is a classified site. Okay, you know, if you want to write this down, instead of Craigslist, there's other classified sites here. Backpage is one, uh, backpage.com. Kijiji, that's K I J I J I. Um, the problem with Kijiji and Backpage, they just don't have enough volume to really worth, make it worth your time. If you go into like the electronics section on Backpage right now in LA, You'll probably see, you know, 30 listings. If you want to Craigslist right now, you'll see you'll see a thousand. Uh, 
boot cut, stone washed, whatever. Put any and all relevant information in there. Because eBay focuses on keywords. If somebody types in your keywords, your ad will show up. If not, it's not going to. Focus on keywords. Um, that's supposed to say grammar is not very important. So I'm going to get off. Write this down. Grammar is not very important. You can put men's jeans, jeans, men's, it doesn't matter. However, spelling is very important. If you type your titles and misspell your keywords, they're not going to show up in the searches. Nobody will find them. So make sure you spell them correctly. Taking good quality photos. Number one, tip number one. You want to take a minimum of seven to 10 photos. Minimum of seven to 10. Photos answer questions for people. Tip number two, avoid using flash. I have found through Facebook that most of us are not professional photographers. So avoid using flash if possible. Try using just natural light. Use a plain background. Duh. That's <laughs> switching from a Mac to a PC. So that happens. That's weird. Use a plain background. If you're selling anything, put a plain white background in there or a plain black background. Hey, I see you guys taking photos. Do you want me to just give you a copy of the presentation? I'd be happy to. I have it on a thumb drive right here. Can we, can we give that to everybody? Is that possible? Yep. <laughs> um, sorry, I just keep snapping photos and easy for you to try. Uh, it's on this computer, so that's your job, not mine anymore, okay? Um, use a plain background. Put like a plain white tablecloth behind it or a plain black tablecloth. Um, so don't, don't clutter it, okay? Don't put two ferns in the photo to make it look pretty. Because when somebody wins their auction, they're going to wonder where their ferns are. That's that one. The absolute best tip that I can give you when taking good quality photos. If you are taking photos of reflective items, please make sure you're wearing clothes. <laughs> you laugh? Take a look at this tea kettle. This tea kettle sold on eBay for $350. Sex sells, guys. You know what? It's bad sex sells. Okay? <laughs> he took a photo of himself and just didn't, I guess he just didn't realize it. He got a lot of attention. Um, I also talk about getting good feedback. This is important. Getting good feedback is important. Does everyone have feedback? Let me just explain to you. The way that eBay makes sure that, the, the best part about eBay is it's 100% safe. Okay, because they're so good at policing themselves. What eBay does is they, uh, they make it so that when you buy or sell something on eBay, you leave the other party positive, negative, or neutral feedback based on how the transaction went. So if the person paid on time, you're going to leave positive feedback. If the seller sold, sold you a good quality product, you're going to leave a positive feedback. If not, you leave appropriate feedback. Over time, you accumulate a score. And over time, it goes up or down. If you have a negative feedback score or a bad feedback score, people are not going to buy from you. Works, people will, you'll just get shut down by eBay. Okay? So here are some tips to, to accumulate a good score right after that. Number one, just start selling stuff. Just start selling. The more you sell, everything you sell adds to your feedback score. And what you're gonna find is that once you exceed like a 50 limit on eBay, you sold 50 items, your items are gonna sell faster, they're gonna sell for top dollar. Because when people come to buy from you, when, people, when somebody goes to eBay looking for something, they look at the product, they look at the pictures, and then they look at the person's feedback score. And if they've been selling on eBay, they trust them. And if not, they don't. So start selling stuff, little items, things you have lying around your house. Put them up and just get them sold. Tip number two, just start buying stuff too. Because as a buyer, you also get a feedback score. And the way it works on eBay is that that score adds to your total score, okay? eBay released a study that 97% of people that buy from you on eBay never click on your score to see how you accumulated your score. 
So if you've already bought a bunch of stuff from eBay, that adds to your total score. Okay, and if you want to add, if you want to like build up that score, go to eBay and type in um, penny listings or one cent listings, and spend you know 20 minutes a day buying two to three items for a penny, and that will just add to your score. I don't recommend doing it more than like three, three or so because eBay will start seeing that you're kind of trolling the site. So just do like two or three every day. Tip number three, write this down. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. When you're selling something, something on eBay, after you sell it, follow up with an email. It can be the same email every single time. Thank you for buying this product. I hope this product has everything you wanted and more. If you have any questions, concerns, or issues with this product, here's my email address. I respond to all the emails within 48 hours. By you just doing that, you will eliminate returns. You will increase repeat business, and you will eliminate buyer's remorse. So follow up, follow up, follow up. And here's the thing, okay? It's the internet. You're gonna get some crazy feedback sometimes. I mean, I sold a, uh, I sold a flat screen, uh, flat screen television to a woman recently. She goes online and leaves me this positive feedback. Positive. One of the scents mixed in with the packing peanuts reminded me of a passionate woman in real life. Was that you? Huh. <laughs> it's all the follow up. I'm a single guy. I followed up with her. <laughs> I sold a, uh, an iPhone to a guy recently. He goes online and leaves me this positive feedback. The way you wrote my zip code made me weak in the knees. Such smooth strokes. Uh, a plus. I want you to know I do not follow up with it. <laughs> and I did not sell anyone a taser gun, but I got this positive feedback. The taser worked even better than expected. My six-year-old now loves Brussels sprouts. People are nuts. Stop asking why. Stop asking why. All right, let's talk about shipping. Shipping on eBay. How do we ship? Here's the very best thing you're going to love about eBay. The buyer is paying for shipping. They're expecting to pay for shipping. Let's not disappoint them. Okay? When you create your listing, you can calculate right there how much it costs to ship across country. I always calculate from Boston to, to LA. I always go, I actually always throw in 90210 because I don't remember that address. Okay? But I always punch in that address, and that tells me how much it costs to ship. I put that on the shipping cost. Now, if somebody buys it from Michigan, they're paying that shipping cost. Somebody buys it from Orlando, they're paying that shipping cost. You can also let them do calculated shipping themselves. So when they look at your, the listing, they can punch in their zip code and put calculated shipping right there, and it will tell them how much it's going to cost to ship them. They're paying that shipping cost on top of their winning bid. Okay? That's number one. Number two, when you sell something to somebody, they pay PayPal. PayPal pays you. PayPal just deposits the money into your bank account. They guarantee anything that you sell up to $50,000. You can schedule pickups to come directly to your house. Whether you want to use UPS, FedEx, DHL, United States Postal Service, it's totally up to you. You can schedule a pickup a day, all week long. It's totally up to you. And anyone can start an account. You can create an account right now with UPS, with FedEx, with DHL. It's up to you. Now, you're shipping those larger items. There's a couple different ways you can sell larger items, such as your trend. Okay? Number one, you can sell it on Craigslist if you want. I recommend using eBay because two things you can do. Number one, you can market it on eBay as local pickup only. Write that down. So you can select the mile radius that people see your ad. So you can set it to like a 200 mile radius and only people within 200 miles are gonna see your ad. Or you can ship them. The cheapest way to ship big items is through UPS. Ship through UPS freight 
and ship through their uh, trade show style. Trade show. <clears throat> trade show. Cheapest way to ship larger items. Now, where do you find some of these great deals on, uh, on all rounds to sell on eBay? Here are some great places. Number one, Craigslist. Craigslist is huge, like I told you. Craigslist, Backpage, Kijiji, Yard Sales, Thrift Stores. Storage auctions. Storage auctions are a great place to find products. You guys have seen the show uh, Storage Wars, right? I got a kick out of that show. Uh, it's it's just it's funny how they they it's completely fictional the way they bring people in. I cannot tell you how many storage unit auctions I've been to. I've been the only person to show up. I have bought more storage unit lots for one dollar than any other price. I have once bought a storage unit auction for one dollar that came with a used, broken down Harley Davidson inside. I don't know anything about fixing Harley Davidsons, but I knew it was worth a dollar. <laughs> Took it by mechanic, I said, call me back and tell me how much it costs to fix. It was like 850 bucks to fix. Put it on eBay, 4,800 bucks. Not a bad return. If you want to find storage auctions, this is what you want to do. Call your local storage facilities. Okay? Ask them to get on their list. They don't hold their auctions every Saturday. They hold them based on vacancy levels. So you want to be on their email list when they're holding an auction. So they'll email you. Another thing you want to do is you want to talk to the storage owner unit, uh, and ask to talk to the owners. Most storage facility owners own multiple facilities. Storage units are great. Probate sales, tax sales, divorce sales are all great places to find problems. You can find some really good quality stuff in there. I had a student go to, to a probate sale recently. They found a beautiful uh, uh, crystal from Vienna, this is like a year ago. Uh, bought it for $600, sold it for $4,300. You can find some good quality stuff at, uh, at sales, auction, liquidation, at liquidation price. Go to liquidation.com, liquidation.com. Charge sales tax to anybody that buys it, your product from in your state. Okay, you only are responsible for selling a physical product uh, to somebody in your state about covering sales tax. Me, I just eat that cost in, in the cost of doing business because such a small percentage is to people that are in my state. However, it, it's more advantageous for California probably because it's such a bigger state. Okay. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Here's the deal. I am not advising you to do anything with your taxes. I am not a representative of the IRS. I'll tell you this. eBay does not turn over its individual seller's information to the government. Okay? I'll leave it there. Got a question over there. But does it give you statements at the end of the month? Yep. All, all, everything. All of your statements. That's the best part about eBay and PayPal. All of your statements are completely broken down right in PayPal. It'll show you exactly what you sold everything for, what the shipping cost was, what the person paid for you, what their fees were, and everything. All that information is detailed and broken down for you. If you have an account, you want to upload, just throw it into a QuickBooks, you're good to go. Wholesalers are a great way to find products. Write this resource down for wholesalers. Worldwidebrands.com. Worldwidebrands.com is a great resource for wholesalers. It's like 300 bucks a year, I think. But they give you a directory of wholesalers that are great. What I like to do, I like to teach my students uh, how to wholesale, how to get involved with wholesalers. Uh, I give students the wholesalers that I do business with. Go to Worldwide Brands, you can find some great wholesalers. Wholesaling on eBay will really streamline your business because you're not dealing with ones and twos. You're dealing with the same products over and over again. And drop shipping. Dropshipping is huge. 
Dropshipping is is where you're dealing with a wholesaler, but you're not physically taking their product. You're just marketing it on eBay. You're selling it. Buyers paying you. You're paying the dropshipper. You're telling the dropshipper where to ship. They do all the work for you. Okay. The biggest dropshipping company in the world is a company called Doba. Doba. D O B A dot com. I don't work with Doba. I don't endorse Doba. I personally haven't found had that kind of success with them. I had some students that have. Um, check them out. They're the biggest company out there. The way you want to really start dropshipping you know, is build a relationship with a wholesaler and turn them into a dropshipper. Right? Now, Craigslist and, and classified ads can be the, one of the easiest ways to find products as well. Um, what I want to do is I want you to write the software down. It's called the eBay Leads Alert Pro software. See, the only problem with Craigslist is sometimes you're dealing with a lot of rubbish up there, and there's just stuff that's just keeps popping up, so you have to like you know scramble through it. So when I was finding deals on Craigslist, I was looking for software that would automate this for me. And what I had a developer develop was this, okay? Now, some benefits of the Leads Alert Pro is, number one, what it does is it connects to sites. I can, connect, I can actually connect to any site I want. The sites I find it most uh, appealing for is Craigslist, Kijiji, Backpage, Twitter, and Yahoo. It connects to all different sites, right? And all I say is, go find me somebody listing this product for this price. And it will bring back all my listings. Same thing goes in real estate. You can send out automatic offers. So if you get a thousand people that are listing that laptop for one hundred dollars, you can write out one offer and then send it to all those thousand people right from a click of the mouse. Wow. Okay. Remember, eighty percent of people say yes to little offers. Now the cool thing is, in the real estate business, it'll pull automatic comps from you. Say you're on eBay, you come across a deal, you're one, you want to bid on it. And you go into the software, you just punch up the address, it tells you what it's comped at, you can go back and bid on it right from there. All the click of the mouse. Let me show you how it works. Now these are the sites that I'm mainly using right now because these are the sites that I find most beneficial. But I can connect it to any site I want. You just need to like, if you have a site that works for you better, you just need to let me know. You go in there and you say, I'm looking for this product for this price, between this price, and I want to search in this area, in this state, in this you know, region, wherever you want. To, you just put in the parameters, send out automatic offers. Same thing goes for real estate. Send out and you can find all the deals for this price to this price. Again, it pulls automatic comps for you, tells you if it's worth pursuing. What this software does is it finds deals for you. That's exactly what it did for Marvin Wood. Barbara Woods, one of my students, said, I attended a seminar on June 11, 2011. This is where I got excited about selling on eBay. Had a product, I couldn't go about the week. So my first item in two days, and in two weeks, I made $5,785.77. In addition, by using a Leads Alert Pro, I located a product on Craigslist and purchased a machine for $799, which I just sold for over $3,000. Raise your hand if you'd like a deal like that. In a week, that's what the software can do for you. Find you deals. But you need to know what you can sell this stuff for, right? Otherwise, you're just playing a guessing game. That's why I paid a developer over $25,000 to develop this software. Write this down. This is called the eBay Profit Generator. What the Profit Generator does for me is every single time a listing ends on eBay, all of the information goes directly into my eBay. Everything that is listed on eBay, every sale that happens every day, all that information goes in my database. So that I compile all that information and my software will tell you exactly what you want to start your price at, what you want to end, what you're going to get for it, what day of the week, what time of the day, everything. It's broken down to a simple science. Let me show you. For example, if I'm listing a new Burberry stock and I'm in the eBay UK, because again, it works, connects to every eBay around the world. It'll tell you the average price, the starting price you want listed at, the number of listings in that period that I looked. It'll give you an overview, and then it breaks it down into specifics. It tells you the time of day to list. It tells you what features and promotions to use, what duration you want to list it for, the listing types, categories, keywords. Then, cooler than that, you can say, hey, 
Who sold this product for the most amount of money? I'd like to see what they did. You can then click on their auction and it saves a copy of their entire auction. So you can copy exactly what you want out of it and paste it into your list. Wouldn't you agree that that's marketing? Mm -hmm. Copying what works for other people and making it better? Now that's what the software does. What the software does is it takes all the guessing out of the game. It tells you exactly how to list your treadmill that's sitting in your house right now to make sure that you get the most amount of money every single time. Guys, I want you to know it is absolutely possible for anyone to get involved in this type of business. Whether you have any eBay experience, whether you've ever been to eBay in the past, whether you've ever sold something. Because what I, what I, what I do is I take you step by step in the entire process. And I'm qualified to do so. For the last 10 years, I've bought and sold millions of dollars of products online. Tens of thousands of products sold. But more importantly, I have students out there that are duplicating my results. Students that need money super fast. Students like Dave Hicks. Dave Hicks wrote into me and said, 32 minutes of the study of my system, I was off and running. 12 hours later, I was $2,116 richer. He said, thanks to your system, I listed some things I had lying around my house, made over $2,116 just 12 hours after the auction started. Thanks to your software, you're exactly what I was going to expect. They have extra Dallas, Texas. You see, there's no other software in the market that can guarantee results like my software. This is one of my uh, favorite testimonies. This is Nikki Williamson. Nikki Williamson is what I like to call a uh, bit of a seminar junkie. Um, we have any seminar junkies in here? First steps they've been in. <laughs> um, I'm a seminar junkie, I can admit, but I'm also a doer. And unfortunately, Nikki had, I'd seen Nikki at a lot of seminars and she wasn't doing what she was, what she was, what she was told me. And uh, I knew Nikki from, from just attending seminars, from real estate seminars. And uh, I'll never forget, I, I got up and spoke, and it was the first time she ever seen me speak. And uh, I get up, I get a presentation, and at the end I, uh, I offer my course for sale, everybody gets up and rushes to the back table. Nikki gets up, goes to the back table, and she is hysterically crying, okay? So I pull her outside, and I start talking to her, and I'm like, you know, what, kind of calm her down, because I know her at this point, and I'm like, you know, Nikki, what's going on? And she's crying to me about how she's bought this, and she's bought that, and nothing's worked, and she says, I truly think I can use your system, but I need to know what's gonna work. I've spent this on coaching, and this on that, and I said, here's the deal, Nikki, and I say this to students all the time. My system's not gonna make you a million dollars tomorrow. But what it will do is it will show you how to make four to five thousand dollars a month, four to five thousand dollars a month, or as much as you want, okay, over and over and over again. You just got to do it. So she signed up for my system. She uh, she calls me back three days later. I asked her to email me what she told me on the phone, and this is what she said. She said, "Chris, thank you for your training. Just thirty-two minutes after putting your system up in my computer, I was up and running." One day later, I sold four things I had lying around my house for over $2,157 in profit. Nikki Williams in Cleveland, Ohio. Not done. We ended up Nikki at a seminar. Okay? This is now four months ago. Okay? This was six months after her buying the course. Six months after buying the course, she had not made less than $5,000 each month since buying the course. I go to a seminar, she comes running up to me and starts hugging me and crying, okay? It's getting a little awkward, okay? But I can tell you this. Uh, she tells me that uh, she just made enough money for the first down payment on her first real estate deal that she's done, okay? For six months, she's made five grand a month. I've seen her twice since then, both times. She comes up to me, hugs me, and starts crying. It is really awkward, okay? But I gotta tell you this, I say this all the time, and I truly mean it. I'm 30 years old. Having a woman hug you and cry because you helped change her life is truly the best feeling that I've ever gotten in my life. I say this to people all over the world, and I mean, I truly mean it. My system's not gonna make you a millionaire, but it can create passive income for yourself over and over and over again. You just gotta do it. Guys, what I've done is I've taken the last eight years, 10 years of experience, and I've broken it down into a very simple step-by-step -step system that I believe that anyone who really wants to do this business and be successful can do it. And what I've done is I've put together a system. Would it be okay if I shared with you guys my system? Yeah. Okay. Um, the first part of my system is my eBay Riches Manual. Uh, this manual is the most comprehensive eBay wealth creation courses ever created. 
Okay, but here's the beauty of it. One skinny little chapter can make you a fortune. Just one skinny little chapter that you read tonight can have you up and running. It's a fun book to read. It's quick. You don't have to read the entire thing. It's going to show you how to, the first chapter is going to show you step by step on how to be up and running, creating your account and up and selling, putting cash in your account tonight. It's going to show you how to effectively market those 300 million eBay users right now, driving them to your auctions, driving them to your, all your listings. If you're interested in eBay real estate, there's two entire chapters on there taking you step by step how to flip real estate right on eBay. But more importantly, a chapter on showing you how to build those classified ads. Step by step so you can start exploding your buyer's list. What this manual is really going to do though, is it's going to eliminate time. Okay? Spent working on your business. It's going to free you and give you time to start working on your business. This manual has a value of $997. Now with that, I've also put together some audio CDs. Because let's face it, people process information differently. Some of us like to visually see training, some of us like to hear it. So I've taken my entire system and I've broken it down into six individually tracked audio CDs. I've taken all my powerful strategies, all my amazing techniques, all the very quick ways of making money on eBay that very few people know about. Hand them to you on a silver platter. They're individually tracked, so you can go to any money making strategy that you want at any given time. Um, you can pop them in your car, turn your car into university on wheels. Uh, this audio CD set has a value of 797 dollars now, to guide you along through the process, what I've done is I've created a few different special points. Okay? The first one is called 24 Killer Places to Find Products. I've already given you a couple. I've talked about Craigslist, wholesalers, dropshippers. This is 24 different places that are all around your life right now where you can find money making products to sell on eBay at extreme discounts. It gives you all the places all around your life. It also gives you the key thing to this offer. This, uh, Special report is it gives you the list of my wholesalers, the people that I do business with on a regular basis. Just pick up the phone and start calling them, and they will stop working. That has a value of two hundred forty-seven dollars. I want to make sure you know exactly what to sell on eBay. That's why I created the hottest selling products on eBay, so you know what's hot and what's selling right now, and what you can make money at easily over and over. That has a value of two hundred forty-seven dollars. And I definitely want to make sure you avoid the mistakes. That's why I created 33 mistakes that eBay sellers are making right now and how to avoid them. Because if you walk down the minefield that can be eBay, you will be paying them fee after fee after fee after fee. This special report is going to put all those fees back in your pocket. That has a value of $247. And the reason that Dave Hicks said he was up and running in 32 minutes and Nick Robinson was as well, is because I recorded a 32 minute getting started meeting. Literally, all they did was go home, pop the DVD in, and listen to me, take them on the computer, show them how to get up and running in 32 minutes. It's an over-the-shoulder look of me taking you on eBay, showing you how to create your account, create your PayPal account, link the two, create your first listing, get those photos on there, make it look professional, and have items selling tonight before you go to bed. This getting started DVD has a value of $247. And I want you to know that it doesn't end when you take the course home because this is what I do differently. What I do differently than a lot of uh, different um, uh, teachers is I continue to coach you. Okay? And what I offer is unlimited support where I have people in my office that are there on a regular basis. You can pick up the phone for the rest of your life, call and ask for help. We'll jump online. If something's not selling, something's not listed right, we'll jump online. We'll take you through the process. But to give you the extra kick in the butt, I've realized that when people invest in systems and courses, they get really excited, and then they go home and it sits on the shelf. I do not and let that happen, okay? Because what we do is for the next four Thursday nights, we're going to have a conference call. And it's going to be four conference calls to make sure that you're up and running. We'll take you, get you started, we show you how to sell products, we show you what's working for us and our best students, then we get you and we show you how to organize your business, create it. And so on and so on. It's open to live QA. It's either me or our brother. We rotate every week. So we each do two a month. Uh, it's every Thursday night, 8.30, uh, 830 uh, Eastern time. If you miss it, tell me, I'll send you the recording. But we do this so that stuff doesn't become shelf help. You know what I mean? Uh, I realize and the difference between my system and a lot of systems out there is that I can show you results tomorrow. I can show you results tonight. 
A lot of people get really frustrated with real estate buying courses and then waiting, you know, six months and not doing a deal. The faster you get results, the faster you start implementing more and more, and the faster you take it to the next level. And that's what I do, I do with this coaching system. Another thing you get is you get my eBay leads alert pro. This is a software that tells you exactly what products are out there, exactly how to find them, by doing all the work from the comfort of your own home. It's completely Mac and PC compatible. You can load it onto two different software software computers if you want to. Uh, it has over $2,995 value. Now, when you couple that with my profit generator software, that's when you're taking all the guessing out of the game. It has a $2,995 value. It's broken this business down to simple science. The science of price points. We're talking about exactly what price to start your auction at, what day of the week, what day of the week you ended on, all that information. You just plug it in and it does all the work. That has a $2,995 value. Again, it's completely Mac and PC compatible. I also have a members area. I add content, videos, training to on a regular basis. You have access to that for the rest of your life. I also have a three-day training. Write these dates down. I'm actually coming back to LA. I do an event, uh, event training every month. The reason I can do that is because we keep them small. I keep them to a minimum, a maximum of 50 people. My next one we have coming up is Boston, September 14th or 16th. But I didn't do one in August because I was taking them off on vacation and, and, uh, and hanging out. So we're doing two in September, one in Boston, one in LA. The LA one is September 28th, 29th, and 30th. It's going to be over at the Holiday Inn right at LAX. And what I do is, it's an event, it's a three-day training where myself and my brother go in and teach you for three days. We set it up very much like this, except this table set up where we have power strips running to each table. Because you're going to bring your laptops to the event. You're going to bring your laptops to the event, you're going to list stuff for sale. When you show up, actually, one thing you do differently is, there's a pile of products on your desk. And you're going to list and sell over the course of three days. You keep 100% of profits. We do this so that you leave the event with the confidence to know that you can do this business, that you have the ability to do it over and over again. Again, a limit to a maximum of 50 people. You'll never see more than 50 people in any of our events. Uh, we do this to make sure that we have the four coaches that we have walking around that can help everybody throughout the entire event. It's a complete inside look at my business, my students' business, advanced eBay strategies. You can bring a family member or a spouse with you for no charge. You can repeat any of my eBay academies for the rest of your life absolutely free. Okay? Uh, so when you buy today, a manual for 997, audio CDs, three different special reports I just talked about, uh, auction profit generator, leads alert pro, getting started DVD for 247, unlimited coaching for 5,000, eBay Academy, lifetime membership access, total retail value bonus is $18,523. Your investment's not $18,523. When I put this together, I put it together as a package, and I only sell it to a as a package. Your investment's on eighteen thousand dollars. You won't play the game. Your investment's fourteen ninety five. Okay, fourteen ninety five. Now, you get the entire eBay profit system for fourteen ninety five. You get the home studies, of course, the done for you software, the four, the three day live training, and the coaching program the support to know that you have ability to help help them for fourteen ninety five. Now. Let me ask you a question. What if I did all the work for you? What if I gave you a plug and play system where you, all you had to do was plug it in, press play, and you can start making money? Raise your hand if you can get started. Okay, guess what? You guys are money. Because I have two extremely special uh, first time ever bonuses. Okay, and this is not a joke, this is literally a first time ever. Because uh, what we've done, what I've found is I'm trying to eliminate, as you can see with this entire course, I'm trying to eliminate your excuses of why you can't do it. Okay, and what I decided to do first thing is we have a warehouse full of products. We buy and sell products on a regular basis every single day. And when I buy a lot of pallet of products, I spend anywhere between forty and hundred thousand dollars <coughs> buying products. This is what my warehouse looks like: flat screen TVs, laptops, connections, chargers, you name it. So what I decided to do is. When you sign up today, what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you a $250 value box of products. Okay? And it's going to be products that we make sure that we, we, we sell and make sure that you list on eBay and then you get those returns. If you don't get those returns, you need to call me so we can make sure that we get more products so that you can consistently sell. 
Okay, what I've done is I've now become your wholesaler. So you don't have to go out and look for other wholesalers out there. You don't have to pick up the phone. All you have to do is call me and say, hey, Chris, I need another box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to consistently send you as much or as little as products as you want so that you can keep selling over and over and over. And I make sure that every time you buy a box from me, you make money. If you don't, I send you more products. Is that a good deal? Yeah. Okay. What I've eliminated is for you to go out there and dial all these different people. All you do is call me up and I will ensure that you're going to make money doing this business. And to make sure that you have everything you need, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to give you a brand new laptop. Okay? And what I've done is I've loaded my entire system on this laptop. I put my audios, my, my software, my entire system on the laptop. So all you have to do is go home, plug it in, press play, and you're up and running today. Okay? And what I've done is I brought I brought with me here tonight seven of these laptops. Okay, so so seven people will walk home with the entire course, a laptop, and the box full of products that they can start selling on eBay. Okay. Now some of my students that are doing this business that are having success: John Henderson made fifteen thousand dollars last month. Rick Underwood from San Diego within his first three weeks he made three thousand one hundred forty dollars. Bob Bowling from Palm Beach. I was a bit hesitant at first, but after three weeks, I made $4,933. David Stoops from Odessa made $4,100 in 30 days. Uh, since then, we've sold about 40 <coughs> items. Steve Morris from Chantilly, Virginia, $3,249. He said, Chris's manuals and discs spell the process in such a clear, step-by-step -step fashion will be a 59-year-old technophobe succeeding. <laughs> you got any 59-year-old technophobes in there? Uh, Eric and Gina Johnson, within 30 days, they made $5,049. Colby Meals from Whitesboro, Texas, three weeks of taking a 30-day uh, challenge, I made over $3,100. Guys, I'd like to leave you with this. Thomas Collington from Hudson, New Hampshire, is nine years old. This is the actual testimonial that I got from a nine-year-old. Chris and Adam, thank you for helping me make money. My allowance is only $5 a week. My mom gave me your course when I am nine years old. I now have my own eBay account. I have learned many new things on how to take pictures and post items for sale and how to make money at it. I have sold my mom a lot of things. We made over $3,128 in one month. Soon I, soon I want to be making this all to myself. Please don't tell her I said This kid is nine years old. If a nine-year-old can do it, can every single person in this room do it? Yes. So what you get uh, today is you get the entire uh, course, you get the hard copy of, of everything. I've also loaded it all on the laptops. So you have a digital version of everything on the laptop. You can load this all on your own PC if you like. Uh, you can attend the training and you're gonna walk away with uh, the laptop that's fully loaded and, um, and the entire product box. Now to make this like the easiest no-brainer decision that you've ever made in your life, the last, uh, the last, um, I guess, excuse for you saying no, I'll give you this. Um, does everyone in here believe that you can start selling on eBay right now? Yeah. Can, everyone has stuff in their house right now you can start selling. Yeah. So I'll tell you this, right? I'll give you the kick in the butt that you need. Okay, go home today, start, take, take the entire system home, start selling on eBay, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to start selling, and by the end of the next 30 days, I want you to sell $3,000 worth of stuff, okay? Not profit, just sales. Double what you spent on the course. Sell $3,000 worth of stuff. When you sell $3,000 worth of stuff, send me, give me a call, send me an email, let me know, to send me proof, you know, picture of your eBay account, your PayPal account, show me proof that you did it. All I ask in return is a testimony. Something that says, hey Chris, your system's awesome, it works, uh, it rocks, you're the most handsome guy I know, something along those lines. Uh, no, that, that my system works, but I was able to make this amount of money, just like all those people did. When you do that, I'll cut you a check back for the entire $14.95. I'll give you back all of your money spent. You can still come to my training, you can still keep the entire course, we still remain friends. Is that a good deal? Great. Let's just say you only make it halfway there. What did you just do? You paid the investment back for the course you just bought. You just made your money. And you know what? I'm giving you $250 in products to give you a kick in the butt to get started. Is that a good deal? Okay. So guys, uh, first thing I want to say, did I, did I do my job tonight? Did I teach you guys? Yes. yes. Uh, 
we have seven. I have seven of these uh, courses and laptops and everything back here. Do you want to have a sign in the back or something? Yeah, sure. Dulce is outside, and Amanda is in the back. Okay, great. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. Was it great? Yeah. Oh, okay.